What is up guys, this is Kobe here, and welcome to episode 3 of the 2023 KMS Reaper Progression Series. Uh, here I am in Cernium, because they did something real big to the Cernium area, as soon as I enter this portal in here. The 20th anniversary update has been officially released, it is the second day of the event. Uh, I didn't really have much time to record on day one because it was like late, I was tired, I, and I didn't want to miss the dailies for it before I started recording because that wouldn't be any good at all. But, <laughs> you know, I had to get through those anyway. So here I am on day two, and um, here's Sardium. Check this out. If you saw my other video, then uh, you would know that Sardium looks like this now. But I also want to let you guys know that they also decorate Sardium for events as well. This is the decoration of Cernium for the 20th anniversary. Cernium has become one of those main towns that they want to decorate whenever they have these like holiday or anniversary updates and stuff like that. This place is absolutely massive now and I am so glad that they turned Cernium into an actual town. Unlike whatever that tiny map was we had in the past. It looks so good. And then here's Burning Cernium. Pretty much the same thing, but everything is destroyed. Uh, if you saw the video I made for this, you could see that not as many things were destroyed in that video compared to uh, now. They, I guess, I took feedback and like this is burning sodium in uh, broken sodium square. Everything is supposed to be destroyed, but everything is not destroyed. So what's up with that? So they're like, okay, we took that advice, and now we're going to break everything even more for when it goes live, and they did. But anyway, it is time to finally show off the 20th anniversary map. Now, I wish I could show the initial story quest that happened at the start, which happens in every anniversary, but I couldn't really do it because, well, I didn't record it, and I was in a rush to get everything done before the end of the day. Uh, and I low-key kind of am today as well, because it's like four hours until reset, and there's also some things to do in the morning as well, but we're gonna see if we can finish everything off. Um, anyway, 20th anniversary. Here we are, event map. It is uh, absolutely gorgeous, and there are a lot of areas within here that um, resemble some of the like old, old anniversary maps. You could also even go inside them to see the old anniversary maps during that time. Um, I'll show those here in a bit, but if I want to remember correctly, this is the 12th anniversary map. I'm also going by KMS anniversary, not GMS, so. For example, this is the 16th anniversary map, but this was the 15th anniversary for GMS. Um, over here, this is the 14th anniversary, the UFO space event kind of thing. Uh, this museum here is 15th Street, uh, which was from five years ago. Down here is Hotel Maple, which was the 17th anniversary of Maple Story. And then here we have Moment Tree, which was actually the anniversary event that I covered in this series. Uh, a super amazing event, it did so much for my account. Uh, going over here, we have this random portal here, which shows off the 9th anniversary map, which it's so goofy looking, but it's, I don't mean, like... <laughs> and then, down here, oh my goodness, and there's all these, like, teleporters in the map that just kind of throw me off guard by quite a bit. But uh, also down here is the 18th anniversary map, the Booming Forest from two years ago. So we have a 9th anniversary, 12th anniversary, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. That's uh, six different anniversary maps that you can go ahead and visit. So I'll start off with, of course, the oldest anniversary that you can visit, which is the 9th. And um, it looks like this. Could you believe that anniversary maps used to look like this? This is ridiculous. We're going to the 12th anniversary over here. It actually makes me wonder when they started making like these big grand anniversary event maps. Um, I think, okay, so 12th anniversary, I believe this was the last anniversary they did when they start, oh, I'm sorry, this is 11th, not 12th. <laughs> uh, but anyway, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure the 12th anniversary was still like the last anniversary they did where they gave out actual equipment. Starting from the 13th anniversary and onwards, the anniversary sets were all just in X quotes. And uh, that was it. Don't really remember if there was a 13th anniversary map. I feel like if there was, it'd be in here. So we're just going to move on over to the 14th anniversary, which is uh, the space event. 
I covered this anniversary way back six years ago. Oh my goodness. I did like multiple different videos about like the different planets you can go to and all the mini games and stuff that you can play. This wasn't even the main map. Well, this was kind of like part of the main map, but the main map was a map that you could actually stand on and go to the shop and stuff. But this was the spaceship that you would go into to go to certain planets to play like whatever games there were. Um, and then over here was the um, the ice thing that you would um, was a frozen link where you could summon monsters and grind there. And it was really funny too because you could be like level 190 plus and you could summon mobs from Choo Choo. Then you need the arcane force and you'd get that Choo Choo mob level EXP. It was. <laughs> Oh, I loved it so much. It helped me so much on my Luna account from back then. And then we have 15th Street. I don't think I ever really talked much about this event, honestly. This was kind of just mostly a blur. Five years ago, 2018. This was the event they released before the um, Black Mage update, like right before it. Um, in this event, you could see updates for buildings that resemble previous major updates of Maple Story. You got Restaurant Red, V Club, uh, Tempest, Temp you just Tempest, <laughs> like, like, a, like an arcade or something, Tempest Arcade, uh, Nova, looks like a museum, uh, Big Bang, we got the Justice Gym, which is the Renegade Passion GMS, this was the update they released, Phantom, uh, Beyond, Override, second V-Scale Arcana release. Uh, you and I, you and I was, a. Uh, I think this is the update they released, Shade. And then they also added, like, some extra things to the map, such as runes and elite monsters and elite bosses and all that stuff. And then Chaos. Ooh, Chaos is back from, like, late 2010, early 2011, where they added PvP to the game. And, um, you know, talk about Maple Stories PvP, but they also added Professions as well. Oh, I completely skipped by the Ark Museum. Ark was the, uh, latest major update before the release of this anniversary, which released, well, as you know it, Ark, as well as Sphera, and uh, they also released Will as a boss in that update. Moving on over to possibly one of my favorite event maps, and I almost feel like I'm about to tear up just by talking about it, but we got um the 16th, I forgot the name of this area, but that, that's actually crazy how much I like this area, but I completely forgot the name of it, but yo, just look at it, it's nice, it's like retro style. I think I made like a video or two about this event. Um, pretty sure I did. But it looks, uh, it looks great. Yo, this, um, Sleepy Wood map here, this hotel was a no boom room. And then I think he, this Barog was a Barog you'd fight for like a Punch King type of deal. Uh, but he does come back this anniversary in a different type of form, and I'll be covering that later. Um, and there are also some other maps you can go to. I forgot which this what though, honestly. I think this whole premise of this anniversary was to save this princess from the Balrog, you know, Mario style type of deal. Um, point shop. Also, you can't access anything from these NPCs, by the way. You can just look at them, maybe talk to them, and then that's it. You can't look at past coin shops or anything. Um, here was the mini game station. There were several different mini games you could play during this. I just remember, I think I played, um, I played one of these mini games back then, and I beat someone and they defamed me. Um, one of my biggest memories I've had during this, uh, anniversary. It was really sad. This is also the first, an first anniversary that I partook in in my neighbor account back in 2019. And when I just had started playing that, it was like two months in by the time this anniversary came out. Uh, so yeah, some pretty nice memories here. Well, if it isn't Hotel Maple, oh my goodness. I've made videos about this one back in the Scandia series. Season 2 of the Scandia series went crazy. This was, um, yeah, nah. I, this was such a nice event, bro. <laughs> You can't even enter the um the swim station, honestly. It just sucks that I can't see it because that's where I I used up all 95 swims on Scania. I think I did almost the same on Luna, but I'm not too sure. Uh throughout the neighbor account uh back in 2020. But yo, it's just it's crazy seeing all these guys. We yeah, like the regular coin shops. Um 
with all like the basic stuff. This was a ticket shop because you get like one ticket per day after capping coins and you'd be able to buy certain things with your tickets. Of course, we got Mesa shop over here. Can't access it though. So yeah, very happy to actually just look at it and see this event again. Blooming Forest. Um, not too many memories with this one. I guess if I were to say anything, 2021. Um, this was the first anniversary that my current account uh, partook in because I started playing this account here in uh, like October, November of 2020. Um, obviously not on Reboot, just the, the Ludo one because you know, under the same Nexon ID and stuff like that. Um, but this is the first anniversary event that I took uh, part in on the new account. And I can't really say for sure if I did anything like memorable because I really don't think I did. Pretty sure this is also the very first coin shop ever that started selling sack symbols in the coin shop because the acquisition rate for those was and still is extremely low. But to be honest, they got released in coin shops a lot faster than I expected because Neo came out in December 2020, which released Cernium, and then Hotel Arcus came out in January 2021. And then three, four months later, here's this event already selling symbols for both areas. There was also a Punch King event here, but I couldn't really access it. So that was, that's uh, that's kind of whatever. But yeah, here's Moon Forest. And the event that I remember just like it was yesterday, and what's about to hit GMS, Maple Moment Tree. This map is still beautiful. I, I'm about to cry just looking at it. This is for you GMS people watching this while in Moment Tree 1F uh, and you only have this part of the map unlocked. Well, everything above here is clouds because I know by the time this video comes out, Moment Tree will be out in GMS. Um, but yeah, here's a spoiler for what the rest of the event map looks like as you unlock these clouds and you unlock 2F, 3F, and 4F. And then you get Mr. Dolphin here, which is Mr. Bonk Guy. Uh, the Dolphin actually shows up as a baby in 3F. And he starts giving you two bonks a day. And then once you hit 4F, you add him up here, giving you three bonks a day. You also be able to see uh, Reese and Ellie as babies at the start. And around the uh, the floor kind of shows like their interests and stuff. So they're, they're babies. So there's like the baby drawing and the baby bed. And then we go up to 2F and there's the toddlers. And so there's like more toys and stuff. There's a slide. And then 3F, they start taking up like actual interests like uh, instruments and, and books and whatnot and then we have 4F and where they're all fully fully grown up and it's a uh, it's a celebration and that is it for all of the past event maps um, I might need to go over a few more things like the coin shop and stuff like that there are three different types of coins the CY here this resembles the Neo patch it's literally just like the coins for the basic stuff there's the maple candy, the maple leaves, by the way, that's the main coin. Uh, maple candies are coins you get from playing certain mini games. I only know of one mini game at the moment, and it's really, really fast. If you're able to get like uh, a high ranking on it, then you only have to play two or three games a day. And again, the game is super fast. And then there's the weekly boss coins, but here's a catch. This doesn't cap at 400 per week. This caps at 1,200 per week. And the coin shop for it is loaded. So let me just start off with the basic coin shop, which is over here with this NPC. Uh, it appears I have not accessed this coin shop through this NPC. Um, I guess it's all the same stuff, but if I want to talk about anything that could be different, it's um, you could buy 100 of each red, rainbow, and black flames. Uh, rainbow flames got their cost reduced from 150 to 100, black flames changed from 250 to 200. Um, legendary potential scroll for event rings is 4k. I think this might have been 5k in the past, with the 17 star scroll being um, 7k, but this is 5k now. There's also the event ring coin, event ring coin, what? Uh, event ring voucher that you could buy 3 of per world for 3,000 coins. Um, I know I said I wanted to cap on the downward raid today or just do out this event, but just whenever I have time, and for today, I got no time. But I know my Dawn Warrior needs one of these, so uh, we're gonna have to get on it sometime. <laughs> There's also the unique potential scroll 100%, there's two of them, and uh, they cost 3,000 coins. Probably not much of a reboot thing though, honestly. And then we still have all the basic stuff here. 
Uh, nothing's really changed as far as limitations are concerned and whatnot. But here is something a little different. They're selling Cernium and Hotel Arcus symbols individually. You can buy 75 Cernium symbols and 50 Hotel Arcus symbols. Where's Odium, you may ask? I'll get to that. There are two different candy shops. One of them sells past anniversary rewards. So this is from... I, I don't exactly remember where this is from. Uh, Noble. This might be 13th anniversary. Like I said, the first anniversary and exit they started giving out. Um, if I were to take a guess, let's say that's 13, 14, 15, 16th. Okay, yeah, there are two different 16th anniversary sets. So 13, 14, 15, um, the space outfit, and then we have the, um, the 15th street outfit, uh, which makes you kind of look like a detective of some sorts. And then there's the neutral outfit, which was like the old 16-bit pre-Big Bang looking outfit. And then the neutral hero outfit, which was more of a like actual armor that you'd wear that's still a 16 bit. And then there's the Hotel Maple outfit uh, from 17th anniversary. Booming Forest outfit from 18th anniversary. And then there's the 19th anniversary outfit over here from Moma Tree. And then here is the 20th anniversary stuff, which I actually need to figure out what it looks like, to be honest with you. Because I'm not too sure. <laughs> There's also damage skin transfers and the damage skin slots. I'm probably gonna have to buy out the damage skin slots, but um, I need to cap. <laughs> oh, I gotta do a lot of candy capping, huh? Uh, there is actually some fashion that I do want to take advantage of and get. And um, you can get 500 of these candies per day, and it's actually 2x on Sundays, so 1,000 of them. And then. Here's more of like the newer stuff as well. It has a 20th anniversary outfit at that shop, so in this shop here. It has some other things like chairs. This is a chair, these two are chairs, this is another chair, um, another chair, 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 chair. Jesus, this looks like an entire set. We're going into some actual outfits though, these two seem like whole outfits. And then um, over here we have a mount. There's a lot of different mounts too. When I say a lot, I mean there's only two. There's literally only two different mounts. <laughs> and then we got damage skins. So there's a lot of damage skins. There's um this one is a unit action damage skin. And then here's just an action damage skin. And then we got some other damage skins here. This is a unit damage skin. I, I really want this damage skin. This takes like two days of capping to get. Um and then this damage skin here. And then an android. Which I don't really know who the android resembles. There's Amul on there, the A Amily Amily Roid. Uh Amily Roid. Is that? Oh, this is Amily right here. We're good. Alright, let's do some candy stuff first. Um, there's also the whole game with Dungeon Blast that I wanna talk about after I finish the candy stuff, but the candy stuff should be really quick. You unlock the um one candy mini game which is called Infinity Race, and it's really, really simple. I just gotta queue up and get people to get in for it. This is Infinity Race. I It seems like I'm always on the bottom, I guess. Uh, I just gotta remember how to jump. It's just for my regular jump key. So you collect coins. That's it. That's the event. You collect coins. You uh, avoid the rocks, because if you get hit by the rocks, you lose points. Um, of course, the gold coins are worth more than the silver coins, so you gotta be real cautious about that. Some newbies, like the one at the top, can have some pretty bad scores. Uh, when I did this on Luna, I was first place all the way through for both of my races. So the goal here is to just not get last in any of the races ever, because that would be really bad. See, I'm at first now, but um, you know, we just keep it pushing. There's like a different round of these each time, and each time there's like a new round. It does get a little faster. Um, honestly, it isn't too bad. And then I would get through all that stuff. There's the fever time, where there's no obstacles you have to dodge, and it's more about getting as many coins as you could possibly get. Um, and that was a little bit of a headache right there. But you want to try to go after all the gold coins during that fever. And I got first place because I'm a champion. The ranking is as follows, if you get first place, you get 300 candy, so that's already 60% of your capping done for the day in a minute. <laughs> Second place is 200 coins, and third place is 100 coins. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish his captain go fast. Got first again, and uh, I'm fully capped. I got to look into what some of these things are, though. This looks like chairs. Yeah, okay, this is chairs, mounts, android, and uh, damage kit. Figure out what those are later. Anyway, we're going to go on to the next thing, which is Dungeon Blast. This event consists of a mini game. A really nice mini game that you get to play for 500 EXP tickets a day. EXP tickets, 100 of them is equal to one mini game from the past events, such as um, we had, like, I guess, Ignition with the. Uh, the Constellation meeting. I forgot what that was called already. Star Bridge, I believe. Star Bridge, Spot the Difference, Puzzle Master, Bouncy Beach Ball, those games are ignition. Each of those mini games was 100 EXP tickets worth. I'm sure I've gone over this in the past in the past episodes, but I'll just do it again anyway. So I just want to point out now, completing this one singular mini game gives you 500 of those EXP tickets, which is equal to five mini games. And if you get a good team, you can get it done relatively quickly. Dungeon Blast is a cross-world minigame event, which they don't really do things like these for minigames like these. So this is a pretty big one, and I'm going to go in, and you're going to hear the music. Any day. There we go. Now, this probably isn't as impactful as GMS people, because they hear this every time they log in. Uh, KMS people don't get to hear this. Our BGM changed in like 2010, 2011 to something completely different, and it hasn't been this ever since. Um, but it has some pretty uh, nice, funny, old school elements. Like, uh, for example, the ticket. You can get inside the ticket booth. How, how the hell are you inside the ticket booth? Let me see this real quick. Ah, you can down jump into it. Nice, nice. Can I leave it? Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Am I stuck here? No. Get down jump, right? Yeah. Perfect. Anyway, let's get to the mini game. Dungeon Blast. Let's find some people. Oh, whoa! <laughs> right away, huh? Welcome to uh old school Maple Story. Oh dang, so much of those aren't you real fast. I guess I gotta be a thief now. I've never played a thief before. I've only played Warrior or Archer. Uh I usually try to go for Warrior ASAP, but they yeah, whatever. <laughs> so as you can see, there's warrior, magician, archer, and thief. And you have some pretty old school skills. For example, thief has savage blow with shadow partner. Why? What in the world? That is not a that is not a combination that thief used to have back in the day. Um, well, I should have turned my skills up. It's too late now. I actually can't even do anything about that anymore. Um, warriors have. Uh, they have the uh, the dragon crusher thing, dragon burst from third job. They also have dragon roar. They unlock that at level ten. Um, also, they have iron will here, and it is a two second iframe, which is actually really annoying because I wish Dark Knights had that in the actual game. But it's all good. Uh, mages. It just looks like they have like magic claw and heal and stuff. Um, and like that's that's all I see I ever see from them. <laughs> Artists have strafe, they eventually get hurricane, they have sharp eyes, you know, all that good stuff they need to have. And then thief, of course, savage blow, haste, shadow partner, all that stuff. As you can see, we all level up around the same time, and it is up to you and your party to figure out what level you guys should be before attacking certain bosses and whatnot. Um there are certain ways that you want to do this event. For example, um, in order to get through this as fast as possible, there is a golem that is right there that only the archer can attack. So it is up to the archer to kill that golem every time to give us the extra EXP that is necessary. Upon reaching level 5, I am staggering way behind my peers, so I really hope I actually don't miss out on any sort of EXP. But upon reaching level 5, we go grind at the sleepy wood map for a little bit. And um, after we hit a certain level, we'll be making our way over to or back to the golem, the mixed golem that was at the top of the first map to fight it and defeat it. As you could tell, every like certain levels and whatnot, I think at level four I change outfits, and then at level seven I also change outfits. So I'll probably be in this outfit again until level ten. 
Um, there is like an outfit change. I don't know what exact levels you have to be for the outfit change, but um, I just know that it changes every few levels. Uh, there's also Zombie Mush Mom here, which we go ahead and uh, face off against after we kill the Mix Golem in the first map. It's not a boss fight that we should be facing right now. This event has already been out for like two days now. So people have a general idea of how they should be grinding it out. I don't know if we're all going to be going to the Golem now that we're level 10. But as you can see at level 10 we changed outfits again. I also have Shadow Partner. So I do double my lines. And I'm super strong now. What the heck. I think they want to go to the Golem at 13. Level 13 now. Wait a second. They're not. We're not going to the Golem. This is completely different than what I usually do with other people. We usually fight bosses to gain levels, but no, these guys want to, um... Oh, let me get them hazed. Uh, they want to go to sleep people this early. I... huh. Okay. So, change of courses over what I remember doing. <laughs> um, so what we're doing here is... I guess, okay. I want to take a guess. We're gonna grind till 17. There's a boss up here. 16. No, they want to fight the boss at 16. Okay, I lied. Uh, we're fighting the boss at 16. <laughs> There's two bosses we're gonna fight once they reach 16. The first one is the boss up here. After we kill that boss, we'll probably level up like... Um... Two times or something. And then once we reach level 18, that's when we fight the Balrog. Which is the final boss of this, and then once we defeat the Balrog, we are, uh, we are done. Also, I need to remember to use Shadow Partner, what the heck? It's such a short buff. We're 16 now. I take it it's boss time. Alright, it's boss time. Let's go over. So, this boss has a little gimmick to it. Also, we need the Warrior or the Mage here to be able to heal us. The gimmick is that it's one of those guys down there, but it has a shield. And if you attack it... From the front with the shield you do a lot of reduced damage so you're supposed to attack it from behind uh the what's supposed to happen is that the warrior is supposed to use monster magnet because they have a monster magnet so the boss will aggro onto the warrior and then everybody else hits it from behind uh the mage also has that one skill i think it was like seal or something that turns the boss to a snail and if you turn the boss into a snail then they it has no shield to guard it Therefore, we can all hit it for full damage. Um, and that's pretty much the plan. Also, the mage needs to be constantly healing us at all times so we all don't die. We're about to kill dude over here. Turn him into a snail. And then after that, we hit 18. And it is time for the final boss. Also, I just want to say your jump key is alt by default in here. So it has been a bit weird for me because I don't usually jump with alt. But okay. Here's Barog. The absolute final boss here see it's the warrior's job to use iron will whenever we get pushed back because it's a party iframe therefore we wouldn't be getting pushed back at all or they could um also that can happen you could, <laughs> you could turn this giant bar into a freaking snail now that's like one of two of his attacks um there's also this attack as well or he has the uh it's like meteors coming down so you want to find like that sweet spot where you don't get hit by him. There's a shield. He takes less damage. That's basically it. And then we just kill him till he's dead. Kill him till he's dead. And then we win. Pretty fun event. Nice little resemblance to the old school version of the game. I'd imagine it'd be really interesting if they ever did like a pink bean yeti type of world. And it was just old school maple. If you remember how hard it was to level back in the day, I'd imagine like a level 30 or something on that world would suffice. Um, even then, level 30 would still take quite a bit of time to get. It was a nice little random idea I had for like the whole thing about bringing back old school maple, old school service, stuff like that. Um, I feel like it'd be nice if we got that kind of taste of the game so people would realize how much of a ridiculous grind it was. And then after the event is over, nobody wouldn't want the server anymore. But we have this instead, and we have this for four weeks, and I'm sure by the end of the four weeks, people are going to end up being inside of it anyway. I mean, it's fun right now. Like, I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, it takes about ten minutes per run, but I think after I get through on, like, the second or third week, I'm like, dang, I gotta do Dungeon Blast today. I can't believe this crap. 
Anyway, we cleared. <laughs> Here are my EXP tickets, and these will all be saved for Mr. Dom Warrior Tony Shino. Now for the last bit that I need to take care of for the day, um, the coin capping. Now, I have the skill. I capped yesterday. I don't know why I thought I didn't. Let me go ahead and accept my symbol dailies into neighbor's dailies, and then I can go ahead and show you guys what it is. So you have this thing here. This is the um, Maple Leaf coin capping skill. It is something that you get to activate every, I want to say, 200 mob kills. So you get a part of the leaf filled out every 20 kills. And then after the 200 mob kills are done, you get the um, you get the coin cap and skill. Also, let me actually take this time to show you guys like clearly and turn on my uh, settings. So what this skill is, is... It's a skill that resembles old events, and I gotta move this thing, this is ridiculous. So you'll be able to use a skill from an old anniversary event. For example, we have the 16th anniversary coin capping skill. There's also the one from Holds Out Maple, there's one from Green Forest, and there's one from Moment Tree. So there's four different ones. This one is the guy from Holds Out Maple. He just claps his hands and that's it. I believe this is um around like the last part of the event, I believe. Of the yeah, yeah, the last part of the event. Half after activating that a total of six times, results in about 1,200 mobs killed. It's super, super fast. If you have like two sack dailies you have to do, Cernium and Verdium, by the time you finish those, you're, you're good. Uh, arcane dailies, they're probably good by the time you finish your arcane dailies, all that stuff. Here's another activation. This is Moment Tree. You get sometimes know whenever like the NPCs pop up and stuff on the side. It also gives EXP as well. I got two billion EXP off of those guys activating. Also, I'm 240 sack. I, I really should start maybe trying to see if I can do the alley maps for dailies. That's 200 less mobs I have to kill, especially with level 10 starting around the corner. This one is uh, Blooming Forest. So we get all three of the flowers from the Blooming Forest attack for us. And then that last one has a summon out that uh, does damage whenever the mobs spawn as well. And I think the only one I haven't showed yet is the neutral one. Oh, there's that. Oh, I completely forgot about that one. I, I don't even think you got to see much of it. But that was the one from the 15th anniversary. Wow. Huh. I wonder if there's... Hold on. One, two, three, four... Okay, no. It only goes back to the 15th anniversary. That makes sense. So I've seen everything but the neutral one. I'm about to cap here. Um, as you can see, I'm just starting the hotel daily and I'm already done capping coins. Um, as soon as you finish capping though, this will still show up. It'll be shown as yellow instead of orange implying that you still have remaining activations left to perform for the day and for me i got 14 more the reason why they do this is because well it's also an exp skill when you grind and it's really nice exp especially if you want to do uh mules and stuff as well also let me go through the wish orb and claim my wish orb for the day which is uh three hours of 3x coupons i can keep this in here till early june now, as far as the rewards are concerned for the Wish Orb, there's a lot to go over, so I'll do this after my dailies. There's also the Maple Mor the Maple Memoria, which you get three shots at every day as well for um, getting some of the old, like old school maple items that you might want. And if you finish a certain set, you get certain NX outfits or weapons, like this umbrella as a weapon, uh, which is super super nice. And if you finish the entire thing, you get a chair. Also, whenever you do unlock an item, say like the Maple Sword, um, you can purchase it for 50 Maple Leaves and actually have it, like the actual Maple Sword. You can do this for every single anniversary item, anniversary equip that was ever released in the game, including new best in slot, no, not new, but best in slot 12 anniversary secondaries that I'm probably going to have to get and make. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's actually so sad because the the second the position about secondary is already like probably the best of the best there is um 
unless it's double prime or something so i don't know if i'm gonna be remaking a whole secondary and i'm definitely still gonna be getting the secondary because I, it'd be nice to have finish the kill dailies i still have some other things left to do like monster park daily bosses and ursus and um legion daily i yeah no i didn't do that either dang that's still quite a bit um Anyway, let me go ahead and go over the Wish Orb rewards real fast. So, it's spread out apart uh, across seven different lines. Each line has six items you can obtain, so it takes a total of six weeks to get everything in a seven-week event. So, you only have one week of uh, just not being able to claim anything, which is... Eh, I guess that's okay. I feel like in the past, they've given us more time. There might be a, like a catch-up event in the future as this anniversary event comes closer to ending um but it does seem like there's like a pass here so this might even just be it here but it also seems like this could be something that costs maple points and i don't want to figure that out so we're just gonna cap every day and hope i don't miss a day <laughs> so anyway um starting off we get 600 maple leaves so i'm gonna go ahead and claim this right now also they tell you to put in your world now it's it's so stupid so it's like serpent stone reboots and then claim if you want to get the uh the reward that you want so that's pretty ridiculous so let me go ahead and use these and i will have 1200 maple leaves and then on the second day of every line there is three hours of 2x or 3x not 2x 3x so, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 hours of 3x this event. I have to use this. I can't just not use it. But it's okay. Because I can keep this in here until June. And I feel like by the time I get to him, I should be able to grind him out. Um, day 3 is a 2 month spending a, spending a period. Yes. A, sp a pendant of spirits. So that's huge. And then pretty much everything that's yellow it's just maple leaves and all that stuff and then everything that's pink so starting with day five so every six of what you claim after day five so five eleven seventeen twenty three twenty nine so on and so forth is 15 extreme wealth potions and you get this seven times for 105 potions absolutely insane and then there's um day six with 200k owner which i actually do need this and uh, day 9 over here has some symbols, uh, 100 sack symbols, uh, like I said about the odium symbols in the coin shop. These are pretty much the only odium symbols you can get across the entire event. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever actually showed you guys the weekly shop yet. Um, so stupid. I don't even... <laughs> anyway, here's 100 odium symbols right here. Um, and then moving on over to day 12, we got 50 nodes. Uh, so I could see, all, as you could see, all of the yellow and the purple rewards are the same all the pink awards are the same it's just only the blue rewards that are different uh so i'll just go over the blue rewards now so day 15 is a uh, growth portion selector day 18 is 50 karma rainbow flames day 21 is a magnificent potion day 24 is 20 red cubes day 27 is 50 black flames day 30 is 10 exp nodes day 33 is another magnificent potion Day 36 is 20 black cubes. Day 39 is 20 karma meister cubes, which is kind of trash because on Rex server this is actually like 20 white cubes, which is super good because that works at B pot. And then day 42 is um a package that gives you another mag pot. So there's three mag pots of this event, as well as uh, the maple set, which is this anniversary set, and 1,000 maple leaves. And that is it. Also, every day you cap, you get 10 points for Tim stats. And on the last day you cap, which is day 42, you get 50 points. So there is a total of 460 points for Tim stats instead of the usual, oh, was it like 270, 260 something? I don't even know. It, it's sort of around there. Um, and skills now go up to level 6. But level 5 to 6 is 70 points, and it still only goes up by 5. So boss goes from 5, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. And that costs a total of 175 points. Um, if you want to have like a full-on bossing build, then what you could do 
is uh, just with four stats, you could do six, six, four, four. So six boss, six IED, four attack, four all stat. Um, I do want to put in some arcane force because, well, the black mage fun runs. I kind of want to keep on trying those just to get better at the boss with this class. But for now, I'm just going to do two points at the boss and two points at IED. I'll level up arcane force a little later. Weekly shop, Maple Stars. There's also the Maple Shop as well. I wow, I'm actually trash. What the? <laughs> Why do I only cover two shops and I go do something different? You know what? Whatever. All right, here it is. So we have a little buff here that you can get. Um, this is a buff that lasts an hour for five coins or five Maple Stars, and uh, you can choose between an EXP buff, which is 15% EXP, or a bossing buff which is 15 boss, 15 IED, 15 attack, 15 all stat, 1500 HP and MP, all that good stuff. Um, and then there's droplets, 50 of each. Also for these, you could buy 10 of these a week. They reset every week. Uh, regular droplets and the, uh, the stone origin droplets. And it, they cost 15 coins, same as all the other events. Um, you can get 100 red flames, 100 rainbow flames, and 200 black flames, which is absolutely ridiculous. So. Also, rainbow flames are down from 15 to 10, and black flames are down from 25 to 20. You can get 100 honor medals, that is 1 million honor from the weekly shop. Um, 20 chaos circulators, 20 black circulators, and then there's 150 sardium symbols for 8 stars, and 100 hotel arc symbols for 10 stars each. So if I want to buy out both symbols, I need to spend 2.2k stars. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying them out this week. Uh, let me actually see what my Cernium is at. Um, oh, it's super close. I actually might unironically buy them out. Just so I can level up my Cernium within the week and be at 250 sack. But 7 weeks of 1.2k stars every week. That is 8.4k total stars. Uh, I definitely want to buy out the droplets, so that's 1500 down the drain in the symbols. So that's 3.7k. If I do. Okay, so if I do this, these, and uh, black flames, that's 7.7k, which leaves me to have about 700 left. I wanted to buy some buffs whenever I do things like, you know, the black mage attempts and whatnot. Um, as well as maybe some rainbow flames, but I'm not too sure just yet. I think I'll mostly be black flaming. Um, I really, really hope I do hit with these black flames, though. But we're just gonna going to have to eventually wait and see. Now, how are the maple stars distributed? Need to go ahead and show you guys that because it's a little different this time around compared to some of the other um, events that gave weekly coins. Um, so these bosses are the same for five stars. It's Easy Cygnus, Hard Hilla, Chaos Pink B, Normal Cygnus. 10 stars is all the CRAs, which I'm pretty sure that's still the same as well. 20 stars, HMAG, CVEL, which is the same. 30 stars, CPAP, Normal Lotus, Normal Damien, that's still the same. And I think things start to change up here a little bit. At 40 stars, we have Slime, Easy Lucid, and Easy Will. I think these all gave 30 in the past. And then at 60 stars are Normal Lucid and Normal Will. These used to get 40 in the past. 80, we have, I think all the normal bosses, normal arcane bosses, except for v normal Vihila, all gave 40. But we have Gloom and Dark Nell normal mode, I give 80. And then coming in at 100, we have Hard Lotus and Damien. These used to give 60. 150, Hard Lucid and Will. These also used to give 60. 200, normal Jinhilla, which I think was also 60, but I'm not too sure. Um, and then over at 300, we have Chaos Slime, Chaos Gloom, and Hard Dunkle. Um, slime was 65 in the past, and uh, the C10 easy all used to be 70. We have Hard Jinhilla for 350 stars. 400 stars for normal Saren, 500 stars for Hard Saren, 700 stars for... Uh, Chaos Watcher Kalos, 1,000 stars for Normal Kaling, uh, and 1,200 stars for Extreme Saren. Thank you for giving us 1,200 stars for a boss that hasn't even been beaten 
in the entire game yet. I really do appreciate it. Missile shop. Okay, so what do we have? Rainbow flames. These are 160 mil. And black flames are 300 mil. Um, I believe rainbows are 50 mil on reg and black flames are 60 mil. So it's very interesting to see that rainbow flames only went up by 3.2x, but the black flames went up 5x. <laughs> and then no red flames, of course, because all red flames can already be bought in the regular shop. And then we have some other cosmetic outfits here, as well as the fairy heart being back. And then skin coupons for your Android, Android earpiece removal, all that jazz. Also, here's the old KPQ NPC. And I think there's some sort of code that I have to put in for something, and I was looking for it, and I have no idea what it gives. I have this code right here, I don't even know if it's gonna work or not, but, um, we are going to try and see if I can make it work. Party... Quest 3ST... What in the world did I just type? Okay, much better. Ooh, what is, uh... Oh, where am I going? I... Oh, whoa! I didn't know this would do that. I don't even know what I'm here for. What is hitting the slime give me? Hold on. I'm gonna burst it down. Oh, it died. Um, I'm gonna burst it down, but it died, and now I don't know what I'm doing. Now I'm in the sauna. And I... Do I just get to have access to the sauna? I didn't even know it'd do this. Yeah, I defeated the, the neutral king slime. Is it? Wait. Request done. What the heck? Hold on. What do I get from that? Uh. Ooh, a pet. A maple pet. Hold on. Wait a second. I gotta put my info in again. Let me see this. Here's the pet. <laughs> it's just a little star. What the heck? Don't look to the left, I haven't gotten to that yet. It might take a while. Anyway, um, let me see what this pet looks like. Oh, it's just a... Okay. Interesting. I really do want to try and get as many of the cosmetic awards as possible throughout this event, though. But, in order to do so, um, the main thing that I have to finish is this Memoria. So I can get everything that is in here. And I mean everything. I also need to look some more things up, just to see if what I'm doing is right. Also, it's day two, and I've only gotten six. And there's 49 days of the event, which means you get, what is it, 147 for free? So that's like 199 for more that you have to farm yourself through getting like uh, these things here. These drop from mobs, I don't think they're too rare. But the fact that I feel like I need to farm 200 of these to complete the Memoria event is... Jeez, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> Especially if I want to do it on like two servers, but... So we're at eight now. Almost there. I think that's it for showing off like anniversary stuff. So if you don't mind me, I really, really need to finish my dailies. Anniversary day three. Pretty sure it's day 409 at this point. Uh, I am just now getting to my dailies, despite there being only two and a half hours left for reset. Uh, surely I can finish the time though. I'm, I already saw it off in the anniversary map, so I'm just gonna do Dungeon Blast first. So the Sunday Maple was announced, and it's actually 2x for everything that you can do to fill in the wish orb so to fill in the wish orb there are only one of three requirements that you have to meet and each of the following is collect 300 maple leaves collect 500 maple candies or complete dungeon blast one time um all three of those are getting their uh daily rewards doubled so you can get 600 maple leaves 1000 maple candies and 1000 exp points from dungeon blast so that's huge all right i want to try to be an archer today because i want to be able to hit the golem at the what the heck what what is this i got kicked out of my own thing man so anyway yeah it's very important that i get this done on sundays because it's gonna be 1000 exp tickets and that's gonna be like 24 percent or something for my down warrior which by the way if i have time to, at, at the end before reset i'll do dailies on 
um, which I'm hoping I have time at the end. Jeez, also weeklies too, because after tomorrow or after reset, it is going to be, uh, what is it? It is going to be Sunday in Korea. So I do need to get those arcane weeklies done before that reset does it. So I do get those extra symbols. I have the skills fully showing this time. Ooh. Hitting the golem now. I can't believe, yo, this is actually like a crazy sick job that archers have. Because this golem gives so much EXP once you actually kill it. This is pretty much all they have to do. Just wait for the golem to spawn and then kill that. But it's okay because I think we're going to sleepy one now anyway. So I'm going on over. Seems like they're formulating the whole plan of the chat, which I'm going to have to read. Um, so we'll see how fast this dungeon blast run goes today. Oh, I'm also supposed to be hitting the drakes down here as well, I'm pretty sure. These guys also give a lot of EXP. I think, um, I didn't know about these drakes. And I saw someone was talking about the archer in the chat, and I'm like, oh. I think I'm doing something I'm supposed to be doing. So, yeah. The more you know about certain things. I can't believe we're already level 12, though. It's been four minutes. What the heck? Are we gonna fight any bosses? I think they said something about level 13. So, wait till we level up. The cleric's job is to be healing the warrior while I use Dragon Roar. I'll probably try to play Cleric and see if I do anything good about that. I think I played one on Luna, and I was just being yelled at to uh, heal people, or at least a warrior, so it was kind of awkward. Uh, looks like we're fighting the Mush Bomb now. Yo, we all just got destroyed! Yo, <laughs> we're in the attack of the Mush Bomb! Actually, just shared a bunch on all of us. Yo, uh-oh. This is not a good look. Yo, I need a... Woo! I'm a range class. I just gotta keep my distance. It's the warrior that tanks it all. Yo, no, no, no! Oh my god. Being backed up in the corner. Yo, please leave me alone. I gotta, like... Alright, run, 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 run. We're good, we're good, we're good. Now I'm on a mission to find any type of mob that archers themselves have to kill in Sleepy Wood. Um, hmm, I wonder, okay, we fight the boss at 17 apparently, that's one more level away, can't seem to find anything, I wonder if they're gonna bring me up in the chat again, we're 17 now, it's boss time, but we can't necessarily go up here ourselves, at least out, e ah, yeah, no, uh, the thief died, <laughs> okay, Oh my goodness, yo, what is this? Hold on. We need the warrior to take it. We need the warrior to take it with the monster magnet and stuff. Um, I don't know why they're trying to use the dragon roar over here. Except the warrior is also not using monster magnet. So, we're just going to have to do this like this, I guess, for the next two bosses. I mean, all that matters is if the warrior manages to use iron will during um the final boss fight when we all get knocked back oh they're using monster magnet nice they freaking died now we're in trouble <laughs> oh no the cleric died and i was at the end so i just kind of ran off so now i'm making my way back up there all right time oh the warrior actually iron wooden time i wish i got that yo that's crazy dang it's late. Now, I understand, though. I've been in the warrior's shoes before. If you can't iron will in time, that attack is really quick, and you're using, like, dragon crusher thing, and then this is, like, you gotta, like, stop attacking, and then use iron will before it actually goes through. And if you have high ping like me, you can use higher iron will, and you'll still get knocked back, but your other party members won't. Also, how the heck did I die there? I got hit twice. Yo, oh, ah, nah, it's really funny, because if you use seal on those flying, uh, little tiny barogs, they turn into snails with wings. They never did that back in the day like that. that <laughs> I thought I caught it for a second, but I didn't. I might have to try to see if I can get it next time. Alright, Maple Adventure Dungeon Blast on for the day. Time to, um, get some other dailies. Judging by my equips and my, um... Piper stats and stuff that I got on. I gotta start off with daily bosses in Monster Park. Wait a second, no. I'm on my training hypers. I never switched my hypers. I could just start off with um authentic dailies instead. 
Actually, wait, no, let me do the candy mini game. Let me get a thousand candies, and then I'm going to get the damage skin. Which I so conveniently have a slot for because I can finally save this damage skin now. Uh, so that's good. This should only take like two or three runs. Okay, I got first place twice. Infinity race is so easy. Let me get this damage skin. I've been wanting to see this for a while. Um, and then I get a thousand candies back tomorrow, so I will probably not be buying a damage skin tomorrow, though, because I, um, I don't have any room. But it's okay, because attendance will give me room tomorrow, so that's good. Here's the damage skin. I like it. I think, um, okay, so the clouds at the bottom of it kind of bring it down like one point for me if i'm gonna be honest but um no other than that i think it's a really nice looking damage skin the numbers look really really solid it's really cool oh here's the um neutral thing we have the warrior using dragon roar the pirate summoning the birds where's the magician using magic claw right there there's a magician I think it just slows me through, so. And then whenever it's in, you get, whenever it ends, you get this big time over that's on the screen. And uh, that was that. Okay, these are done for the day on the buck. Looking over at the Tim stats, though, I do want to get 30 and 30 first. So 30 boss, 30 IED. I'm getting 20 boss tomorrow. But I wonder if, I, if it might be worth it to get some more of these other stats filled up. Um, because I was just thinking maybe, like, I do boss... I do boss, IED, attack, all stat, and arcane force all the way up to at least level 4. And then I work either just work on getting boss and IED up or do some other things. Um, I mean, I think I could get both boss and IED to like level 5. But um, probably not 6. I might work on some other stats instead because level 6 is 70 and level 4 if anything else is 55. Like, I'd want to take maybe 30% normal monster damage over 5% boss damage at that point. If I did 5, 5, 4, 4, 4, then I would have 85 skill points left. So, doing, um, like, normal monster damage to 4 would put me at 30 skill points left. Which is enough to get something else level 3. I don't know, you know, I'll cross the bridge when I get there. Anyway, let me actually play the doll over here for real now. I think the Black Mage attempts, um, just to practice fun runs because I'm still definitely not going to clear, will come around in episode 4 once I actually do have level 4 on boss, IED, and arcane force. Been a while since I've actually touched this character for like dailies and stuff. Um, starting off with Morass, clearly I want to get some of the easier ones. Um, the highest of a mob here is what 239 so we'll just go ahead and take that um this first quest i can just go over to the left side and beat the cats and of course this class is so freakishly strong that i'm one-shotting them anyway like what <laughs> i'm doing what 80 percent of my damage bruh ridiculous seven levels above me only 80 percent of my damage and i'm one-shotting they gotta do something about this class. I mean, wait, they already did do something about this class. They nerfed it. Right, right, right. I forgot. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the Shadows mob. The reason why I took this mob is because I'm like, oh, well, actually, wait, this is good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Shadow Dance Hall 4 is usually free, right? But then I see 2 or 3 and they're taken. I'm like, uh, I don't know. But, uh, turns out I'm I'm just fine after all. I could just stay at this map and finish the more I stay this year. So I currently have a thousand EXP tickets saved up from Maple Adventure. I think that's 24%. Can I get another 1,000 tomorrow, which is going to be 48%. So if I do dailies for today and tomorrow, and do the weeklies, as well as getting all the EXP from Maple Adventure, this guy will hit 231 tomorrow. Also, fool, a fool like me did not start anniversary. And uh, I don't want to risk losing this map for obvious reasons. So I'm going to have to start anniversary after I finish this daily. Or I'm still in level 1. As soon as I finish the weekly, it will uh, go up to level 4. That's going to be very huge. And then I think some of these other symbols will also level up a little bit as well. Um, 
you know, everything will level up at least once. Arcana might level up twice, even. Um, like two days worth of dailies, I think. Arcana levels up twice. Moras gets level four, so that's already 500 staff from symbols. And then all these level up once. So that's 800 staff from symbols in the next two days. And this character will be 15k staff. I might need to cop some of these best and sought secondaries on all my boss mules, as a matter of fact. Uh, this guy only has a unique secondary, so I could just cube it to legendary someday. Um, and finally, maybe start putting those boss cubes to use because I usually just let those expire, so that would be for unique on the secondary anyway for all my characters. Also, this character's been eligible to get a noble if hearing for a while. It just I never ever ever do Vonleon Prees on it, and at this point, since I just want to get an event ring, I I don't think it's gonna happen at all. Oh wow, a cup that gives me range. I was actually about to drop it too. That's awkward. But yeah, as soon as this character hits 235, I'm pretty much done with it. I hit 235. I do the Asphera daily and weekly just so I can get the symbol up to level four, and then maybe get some Asphera symbols from the shop. With the remaining coins I'll have left over, just so the Asphera could be a little bit of a higher level, and then that's it. The Moras Daily got me like a little over 2%, almost 3. Not bad. So, yeah, once I reach Asphera and I get the Asphera symbol to like level 5, that'll be it. We'll still be a bit behind my other characters, but I think it should be strong enough by then, especially with the fourth ring. Alright. Dailies are done. Yeah, I got all these done pretty quickly. I might start giving this guy a monster bark as well. Um, but let me see. 11%. Wow. 11%. Just from doing my really fast arcane dailies. Because, that, yeah, that, that genuinely fell fast. Uh, wow. That's really good. I'm pretty sure I could go with the EXP sacrifice from my book. Um, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. Just give this guy a monster bark. And I'll be good to go. All the EXP stuff we got roaming about anyway, um, really even shouldn't be that big of a deal, hitting 235, I don't think it'll be long at all. I do need to cap coins though, I'm only at 216. Okay, I'm done. I have some other things I need to get to, so I won't finish the weeklies quite yet, so this will just be the end of day 3 for anniversary. It is day 4 of anniversary. All my links are still in the Dawn Warrior, so I'm going to do all the Dawn Warrior dailies first. I also need to do weeklies, and then kind of make sure this character gets done, like, as soon as possible. Because I have an hour and 37 minutes. Yo, I've been doing my dailies real late. Like, I wake up in the morning just to do reboot dailies. It's crazy. <laughs> but I got an hour and 37 minutes left until, um... What you call it? Um... Covert is closed. And I need to do Covert on my buck by then. I got this more ass daily where the mobs are like crazy tanky. So, uh, oh, wait, hold on. I forget how dumb we're used to have, sorry, but. Um. But no, I don't know why these mobs are so tanky over here. And even at the higher levels, their HP scales so much. And I, I can't seem to figure out why. At least this place doesn't require any arcane for us, otherwise, I'd probably be in some big trouble. But, um. I think after I do dailies and weeklies today for the arcane stuff, I should be able to level up every single symbol. Um, but I will. I don't have the mesos on here, so I'll probably do that a little later. I just need to get things done at the moment. What I'm upset about Dawn Warrior dailies, I get Memoria boxes. That uh, leads me to progress more towards the chair. Also, starting day five. I do one of the uh, Wish Orb activities, I end up getting 15 of these, which will immediately push me to 8.5k Legion. I I should definitely have the Legion coins with the upgrade, but I'll have to see. Wrapping up Dawn Warrior dailies with uh, more ass Monster Park, which is actually pretty funny because I can't even one-shot these mobs with Sticks Crossing, but I'm still doing this anyway. Oh my goodness, I fell. I gotta make sure I kill the boss before I leave Sticks Crossing, otherwise this will not be good. Let me pop my last stack of Cosmos. I gotta go like full burst on the boss just to be able to kill it. I might have to stick with Arcana on this character. And also, I just got a monster collection. We're just gonna leave that as it is. Um, I gotta drop one item. That's easy. There we go. Done. This character got like 23% today. 
ridiculous. And if I can get another 24 from Dungeon Blast, so 47% gain today. I love Sundays. Okay, I have no storage room, but I also have like a bunch of expired cubes. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Yeah, finish everything I've done over here, so it is now time for the buck. Um, if anything, it is, what is it? Uh, 56 minutes till Culver closes. So I want to be able to do that ASAP. Dailies on here took around 40-ish minutes. Um, but that did include doing all the weeklies as well. And doing the Morass weekly was like f 6 minutes. The Arcana weekly was 4 minutes. Like, I think all the weeklies in total added an extra 15 minutes at this time. Anywhere between 15, 20 minutes or so. But thankfully that's only once a week. I'm so happy about that. Okay, I'm in my bossing gear. So I'm just gonna transfer my bossing links to um to neighbor's dailies so I can do Ursus. And then after Ursus I'm gonna do Culvert. Before I go to Culvert, I can also get level 3 boss. So I got 20 bosses and I Idina. I forgot killing mobs in my Dawn Warrior counted as actual mob skill to do Ursus. I didn't have to do this at all yet, but hey, at least I got it done. Alright, it's Culvert time. I'm getting a lower score this week compared to last week. <laughs> right off the bat, I already don't even trust it. Um, I had, what is it, even though the Magic Stone Sap buff was only 5 minutes, I had like 40 boss and 25 IED. I'm 20 boss lower and 15 IED lower. There is no chance that I get a higher score this week, it's just not happening. Roll double 5 for it. Don't really remember the 5s that I rolled in the uh, last run though. Um, should be set. Nodes, check. Uh, I have Sharon instead of Will, but who needs Will to go in anyway? Um, we good to go. Okay, gonna go in and hit it like this. It'll check Brock, and then I'll restart off. Sometimes I feel like I don't, I shouldn't hit it until stage three. Because that's when my um, serpent attacks, and that's final damage right there. So it's like really weird. <laughs> Need to hurry up and kill this phase though, so I can pop AV and use Howling. Oh, nice fatal with that. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. My only problem with that is um, what is it? I didn't have the 20% FD toggle on during the charging. Because it didn't hit the boss monster in time. No worries though. Give it like 10 seconds before I pop Maple Warrior and Epic Adventure. So I think my yeah my strike box on four. So I need to remember that. Will still can be popped. Oh yeah, Overdrive is 28 seconds now, after the balance patch. I don't know if I ever mentioned that at all in this video. <laughs> but uh, they, they kind of nerfed Overdrive's duration a little bit, but they made the cooldown 60 seconds to quote unquote balance it out. So we just take it. So I pop Overdrive at 28. 29, 28, Overdrive. Pipe flag. So once I can pop my AB, I will uh full burst. So be impatient here. Also the flag is not all the way in the corner. Okay, here we go. No worries. But now. Yeah, what the heck? This score is pretty low. 7.4. Oh man, wait, what even happened? That, that actually is a pretty low score. Like, I know I lost the uh, Timstab buffs and stuff, but it's usually not that low. Oh well, take it for what it is. I'm just gonna do MPE in the rest of my dailies now. Alright, day 5 of anniversary. I've already done my Bucks dailies, but I have not done Dungeon Blast yet. And I have not done my Dawn Warriors dailies. Um, first thing I want to do is I have two of these in Maple Memoria. Uh, Passes I don't want to use to get my weapons. I think I've already used my chances for today, my free passes. Yeah, so we're still going through the first anniversary, first to third. 
Um, I think I'm missing, so what I have these 12, so I'm missing 11, 12 more. So I need at most four more days until I finish first to third, and then I can get the reward here. And then I can start working on four through six for the uh, the snowboard, which I can choose any snowboard I want. I wonder which one I get. Uh, maple snowboard seems cool, but like... I'm sure there might be some other ones that I might want to pick instead. Um, anyway, uh, I don't think I claimed the anniversary award today, but what I did claim was the Mac pot for Fairy Bros. Um, and I'm going to use this right now, and I think it's going to give me around uh, a little over 3%. So I'm at 58.8 right now, and using this will get me to, yeah, 62.2. Just because I have no better character to use it on. 15 extreme growth potions today. Let me also claim these two. But today is the day that I finally, finally hit 8.5k Legion. And then with the crystal orb stats, I go ahead and get uh, some more IED as well. Now I have to wait three days for 30 boss, and then another three days for 30 IED. And then I can start. And then I can start working on Arcane Force. I don't know why I ended off that recording like that. Let me use these extreme potions before I get to Dungeon Blast and my Dawn Warriors dailies. Um, going back to the very end of my list, of course, as soon as my character selection loads. There it is. Um, so, 42 characters. So, my Battle Mage is not on it. So, it's got to be between my... Um, honestly, I could use it on any one of these characters. And I would need, like, what, 19 levels? I most certainly have to hit on at least one of them, right? Uh, we'll just go ahead and start off with the lowest, which is my dual blade. And just because I'm lazy, I'm going to dump them on the dual blade. If I somehow don't hit 190 and 15 potions, then there's something seriously wrong with this game. 84, 81. That's 19 levels. There's no way I don't get this. Alright, let's see. Oh, no, I'm in hell. Oh, oh no, yo, this ain't good. This is not looking good for me. Alright. We okay, it's guaranteed now, but dang. Why was that start so rough? Um I'm definitely hitting 194 off these though. I'm just gonna keep on recording just so you guys see this. 180, 190. Wow, this character sucks. Um 197. If I oh if I get a double level, then I can get this guy to 200 through scrapyard. That's only if I actually care enough. 196. Yeah, nah, I'm not getting a double level. It ain't happening. <laughs> well, hey, it's 198. So you know what that puts me at? That puts me at uh, 8508. Nice. I'm going to go rank up now. All right, let me see the pricing of 8.5. 2.2K. Wow, that's actually nothing. I have like 9.4K coins. There we go. I am now Grand Master Union 2. And now my uh, icon has eyes on it. My Ho Young, put it on here, do a little something like this, and then bam, plus four attack and like plus plus eight million power. And then I'm pretty sure for the mobbing grid, I will, I don't know, I just put into crit rate for now. That's, I, I suppose, crit rate's fine. Let me get Dungeon Blast over with real quick. I let fate decide my pick this time. Archer gets taken immediately, as I'm about to watch happen right now. What the heck? Okay, that took really long. I could have picked Archer if I wanted to. Alright, the fate has chosen me to play Thief. How fun. One thing I never understood about Thief is that you start off with Savage Blow, which is cool and all, right? Like, I think Savage Blow is... The OG Savage Blow especially is a really cool skill. But then you get Shadow Partner at, like, level 5. Wait. Bandit said they have Shadow Partner back in the day. I know they got it around like Big Bang Patch, but um, they did not have Shadow Partner back in the day. That's a lie. Alright, the Archer's level 4 and it's still at the bottom. It's supposed to be sniping the Golem by now. What's going on? I need this Archer to be up here. Maybe I should have picked Archer. Oh, I'm also not buffing anymore with haste. I <laughs> Hold on, let me let me get these people A's real quick. I'm, I'm doing the Archer needs to sleep this cold on, bro. Ah, uh, whatever. It's time to go to sleep, you would anyway. Doesn't matter. Fighting zombie mushroom at level 11 is a really bold move. You'd think we would at least go back and fight the golem first and get the levels off that before fighting mushroom. 
I heavily disagree with this option right here. I think we're just gonna die a lot. I don't even know. One body slam of Mush Mom, everybody dies but the warrior. I'm telling you. The archer got away in time. Our warrior kind of just stopped working. That's actually not good. Why are we all in different maps, dude? The warrior is probably still AFK and Sleepy Wood. Uh, well, Ant Tunnel. The um, archer went to apparently go fight the golem, I guess? And then now it's just me and the mage. And I don't know if... We, I think... Yeah, we got a lot of VXP. So I'm pretty sure the archer killed the golem. Oh, the warrior came here. Now the archer's here. Everyone's here. Great. Let's hopefully at least get one more level before we go fight this next boss, though. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. I don't know how I'm going to be able to find those, like, really good party comps that people have. Where they finish in, like, 7 to 8 minutes because I would like to have that, too. I'm going to need for the warrior to get up there and step up. For level 17, it's time to fight the boss. Your mage died. And apparently he's still attacking dead bodies, so... Oh, wait, I'm going to die. Wait, no, the mage came back. We're good. A warrior is so freaking bad. It's actually messing up this whole run. This actually could have been a fast run if the warrior wasn't. <laughs> what the hell? Apparently, my damage is doubled if I attack enemies from behind. So, um. I need to take advantage of that and go crazy. If I could do that, then we are good. Then I'll be the one that just does the damage. Oh, the warrior's here. Look at that. Alright, we cleared. Pretty bad run, but that's only really because, like. Mainly one person just wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing. Not gonna mess that up quite a bit. But, um, hey, at least it's over with now. This is why sometimes you just gotta find, like, buddies to do this with. Because randoms, they, it doesn't really hit. <laughs> oh, but I don't really have a choice, though. Before I do dailies on here, let me just start off by using the EXP tickets. Um... I haven't even accepted this. I'm pretty sure this is like the past to get me to use my EXP tickets, the whole Maple Image stuff. Press that, and then bam, EXP ticket usage here. I have 2500, and I only need 1.1k to level up. Let me show the world that I'm level 231, and then use the rest of them. And the rest of them will get me to 31%. Not bad. Let me do my dailies. I think dailies will get me to like 45. We'll see. I am done. Also, I do Arcana Monster Park instead of Moras because the end of Moras has way too high level mobs that I don't really want to deal with. But anyway, I am 45.7% after, yeah, about 20 minutes to do my dailies. So, not too bad. 14% a day. 14% plus the 12% from Dungeon Blast. So. 24% a day. This character is probably going to level up to 232 in about three days. Technically reset is real soon, so two days. If there was ever a day I wish I didn't have to go through, it would definitely be today. It is day 413, last day of the week, day 7 of anniversary, which means I still have to do bosses on four characters, including all of my Bucks Hard bosses. I cannot believe I messed up this bad during the week and there's 12 hours left until weekly reset and I still have to do all these bosses. Because I am a genius, I linked my skills to my Dawn Warrior right before reset so I can just uh, go to the Dawn Warrior and then go back from the Dawn Warrior for like all the stuff and whatnot. I still kind of want to do the Arcane Weeklies in the Dawn Warrior just to get its arcane symbols as high of a level as possible before I even start doing dailies on there. I have 70 nodes on here as well, but what I'm going to do is transfer like 50. Um, but there's 13 in the store, so that's 63. I'm going to open all those nodes in the Dawn Warrior because I still want to get its boost nodes like level 40 and stuff. I'm going to be up all night today. I got a letter. Oh, it's a fan. Shout out to this guy. Thank you very much for the ring and for watching my videos. Smiley face. I really do appreciate it. Send. 10k, money well spent. Alright, here goes it. Just got 1k stat. Nice. If I do weeklies, I can level up. One, two, three, four more symbols. Oh my goodness. That's actually really crazy. Um, 
I'm gonna get on to that. That's gonna give me a lot of stat. Oh wait, the notes. Let me open the notes as well. After today, I am also four days away from an event ring. Let's go. I'll probably just get like the awake ring or something. Just throw it at 9% stat. Call it done. The rest of the uh, coins will be saved for nodes and the Aspera symbol. And that's it. Or rather, multiple Aspera symbols because I want to see if I can maybe, with the coin shop, get that thing to like level 6 or something. Um, maybe do the weekly for a couple of weeks and then just call it done after that. Wait, I don't have this class's trio. I'm missing, um, another cosmic shower. Hold on. Wait. That's it right there. What the heck? Right here? Wait, no, that's not it. Oh, what in the world? Wait, I thought I... Where, where was it? Hold on. I swore I saw it. No. No. It was... Okay, right here, right here. Nice. And then this goes up to level 10. So, okay, I need to get these, like, 15. I do not know how many more nodes that will take me. This one goes to 12. And I'm still probably gonna level up Rift. Just because that is um, a very powerful skill. Where, where's my boost node? Right here. Let me go ahead and lock it too. So now my boost nodes are from 28 to 32. Time to check some of my other skills. None. None. Oh, two right here. Oh, yikes. So this goes up to level 3. This one right here. None. Or a weapon. Oh, we got one. Level 2. Alright. Phalanx. Level 5 on the phalanx, not too bad, and then blink, level 3. Um, and of course we're gonna have one more slot, probably not going to be used for the, um, the wheel skill. I highly doubt it. But I should maybe considering leveling Cosmos? I already forgot what the order of skills was to level in this class, but, um... Pretty sure I can find, like, a guide somewhere or something. Okay, yes, Cosmos is the next best skill, so I'm just going to buy five of them. So I can get it up to level 5. Or maybe even level 6. No, just level 5. That's it. I will mean with the matrix point, it's level 6. So it goes from 1 to 6. That's not too bad. Okay, let me do the daily and the weekly. And then after that is done. Um, Actually, how much dungeon blast DXP do I have? Because depending on that, I have 500. Mm, I might be able to hit 232 after Dungeon Blast, so I think I'm gonna do these, do Monster Park, and then do Dungeon Blast, and then I'll hit 232. Pain dailies are done, and the weeklies too. I still have to do Monster Park and Dungeon Blast, and then I can hit 232. What in the world did I just say? I sounded like a pretty... I mean, I'm pretty sure I just said two twice. I don't know why I'm freaking out like I said something crazy. Anyway, four symbol level ups. There go all my mesos. Um, I spent 500 mil on this character already through symbol level ups, but it was worth it. I am um, 1.4k stat higher now. Let me do Monster Park real quick. And actually, wait. I'm just going to do Arcana anyway. I'm going to switch to my Bossing Legion and see my stat now. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, I had combat orders. I'm 15.7. I used to be 14.2. Check that out. That's crazy. Uh-uh. This character is about to have some good bossing this week. Alright, everything is done, aside from bosses, including Dungeon Blast, so it is time to go ahead and level up. I only need 815 EXP tickets, and boom, level 232. Three more until Asphera, and I'm pretty much done with dailies on this character by the time I hit Asphera. Gotta wait till tomorrow for level, or level 4 boss. Wish I could have it today, but I guess not. No need for buff freezers anymore. Thank goodness. Also, it's finally time I start getting my weekly stars. Um, although, Lomian Mules get, like, none. It's gonna be my buck getting all of the stars that I need. Plus, I gotta spend more money as well leveling up Sardium. Dang, I'm spending over a bill on symbol levels this week. That sucks. 1.5k, or rather, maybe 1.7k stat higher Dawn Warrior. Doing normal Lotus with slightly better nodes. And uh, that's pretty much it. Not really more temp stats, it's actually less actually because um, Magic Stone Slap is 25 on each, but I only have 20 on each this time. So it's a little bit worse. Oh, snap. Oh, I almost forgot about that. That's crazy. Alright, we're good. Um, I'm not very impressed. 
<laughs> it hardly feels any different. I mean, I'm only missing five balls of five IED from Tim Stats. And I kind of don't want to pop my buffs because I want to just score my first box because I want to go into Damien right after. But, uh... I guess it's okay. It's probably going to be a seven minute run. Maybe? I have Cosmos up soon, so we'll see if it like pushes it to that point. Okay, a little over seven minutes, but it should be dying here, as long as it doesn't do any purples. We're good. I just looted one cube in the boss crystal. These are the boss shops now. Ever since I got rid of Crusader coins and spell traces, I got 160 spell traces. It's so empty. Oh my goodness. I didn't properly record the Lotus box shop, but um, whenever I get Damien done, I can show you guys Damien. Damien was a bit under seven minutes, so that wasn't too bad. I had to pop my burst for the last bit though. So Damien and Lotus are around the same time, both at seven minutes each. Can live with that for now. And yeah, Damien drops. I'm not even kidding, dude. This is all. <laughs> you have to realize how much of nothing bosses drop when Crusader coins no longer exist. It's actually really goofy. The bosses like CPAP that still drop the Coke cubes. Still looks like they drop a lot. But could you imagine if you just got all those Coke cubes in one bundle? That's how uh, those new spell chases are. I actually wonder why they haven't done that yet. It'd be a lot easier on us. A lot better to just loot one stack of occults instead of just running around looting one at a time. Ending off with no more pink bean. All the bosses in total took me 33 minutes. Honestly, pretty big cut from 38 minutes. So, even though I don't really feel like I felt anything different from Lomi, and I'll take it. Not too bad. 975 mil, two more mules to go. On the arc, I need to conduct an experiment. Uh, bosses now drop traces. I want to see how many traces I get from every daily and weekly boss up to Inloom. I'm very proud of myself on this arc. I got everything done in like 29 minutes. That is 3 minutes less than before from the first week, but I also didn't have Tim stats that week, so... I'm pretty sure with Tim stats it's fair for everything to be sub-30. But all daily and weekly bosses up to Inloom have been completed, and the spell traces I got... 2458. Now, I might have looted some from the mobs from like the normal Rudibus Imps or just the Rudibus Imps in general, but it's around like 2450 ish from everything. Get my money, go to the Dark Knight. Dark Knight looking like 23 minutes or so. Uh, I'm on the last body of Chaos Swing Bean. When he's over right here, the Dark Sora, blow it up, and then I am done. Nice. Got my money. I got like 5k spell traces in here. I'm just gonna put them all in the storage anyway. Also, I've noticed that a lot of my characters have a bunch of cross coins, aka Crusader coins. Like, I got 14k on here, like 4k on the Dawn Warrior, 6k on the Ark. Maybe it's the other way around for Dawn Warrior and Ark. But either way, still have, they still have quite a bit. And they remove the shop, where they remove like the content as a whole. And I have until September 30th to be able to use all the coins on Mesa bags. Otherwise, they're going to just be straight up trash and I can't use them at all ever. Anyway, it is finally time for me to get through the Bucks Hard bosses. The boss mules are done. But let me see how many Maple Stars I get from doing all those. Uh, let me talk to Pink Bean over here real quick. Maybe second option. If I were to accept these, then it's 185 stars, which is the exact same as like all the other ones. Um, so I didn't really do any bosses that would end up giving me more stars. Unfortunate. You really gotta be like really strong if you want to cap out on stars every week. Um, I'm pretty sure it was what like I, I completely forgot already. I think it was starting with slime or slime and easy lucid is when they get to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah. That's when they start going up a little bit. My buck can just do slime and CT and then that's it though. I'd have all 1200 just off of those four bosses. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think I'm at 23 bill. And this character will give me about 6.5 bill from everything. Maybe a little bit more because of Ursus and just looting items while I do my other dailies. Um, so I'll probably be like pretty close to 30 bill.
But then there's the Sarnium fee that I have to pay. So I think at the end of everything, I'll probably be at like 29 bill flat or very close to it. I don't want to start with slime. So I'm probably going to do um, hard dunkle instead. Do dunkle and then go into a gloom. And then maybe do slime whenever my guild skills are back up or close to it. Alright, dunkle. Hard dunkle. Let's uh, see what I get. Alright, here goes. Oh! Another armor box. Nice. Good stuff. Time for uh, Gloom. Chaos Gloom. I did a 12 and a half minute run, by the way. Right as guild skills are about to expire. Oh my god. That's actually a bunch of nothing. Holy crap. Alright, boss number three, Hard Lotus. Yikes. Alright, Damien now. Boss number four in Hard Damien. I think I'm gonna do like some of the other weekly bosses for a little bit before I get back into doing some more of these bosses. I got double absolute boxes. I'm so excited. Alright, I got like a really tough boss when I'm tired out of the way. I still have slime left. I'm actually pretty freaking scared of that one, but we're good. I'm just gonna do Loosen and Will next. Those two are pretty freaking easy. But then uh, by the time I finish those two, it's gonna be slime time and I'm quite scared to slime. Anyway, boss number five. Vila. Trash. Well, I got a black flame, I guess. Boss number six, Lucid. Two more to go. I got like nothing else to look forward to. It's almost over. Boss number seven, Hardwell. Got all my drop on it and everything. That's a, such a useless item. Okay. Slime's left. You almost died out, bro. I'm really not in late. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm, that was the last boss. I'm done. I've done everything. I can finally, like, leave in peace. Oh my goodness. What a night. What a night. I promise to never cram all of my bosses into one day ever again. That was the biggest mistake I've ever made. Okay. I don't even want to put on a job gear act like I need a ring. Use all the time. If I get a raise, whatever. Wow. There's actually like a whole bunch of nothing. We're good. 6.5 bill. Like I said. Sell it all. I'm at about 29.9 bill. Let me go ahead and claim my stars. And I'm going to spend each and every single one of them for this week on the Sonium symbol. See, these four is already 1250. And then all this is like not even necessary at all. Dude, it's so crazy. How... 150 for H Lugo and then 300 for Slime and the C Tinny bosses. 350 for Hit. What? Like, such a huge jump. You think H Lugo would at least be worth a little bit more? Like, maybe 200 or something. But, no worries. We got that down. And, uh, Sarnium symbols. We are going to buy all of these out. 150. And then they come in the form of use coupons. So, I gotta see how many inventory space I have. 32. Uh,. 36, like 42. You see if I'm a genius or not. Oh my goodness, I'm smart. And with that being done, boom. 892 mil. I'm at 29 bill exactly like I said I'd be at. I'm gonna be stuck at 250 force for quite a while. Nothing I could really do from here. Oh, I wanna try to do the alley daily in Odium. Um, other than. Uh, Doing those kill dailies though, I still have to do my candies, which hopefully should only take two mini games, maybe three at worst. Okay, I've thought about doing the alleyway dailies to make Odium go by a little quicker, but I have now officially decided against that because I need more of um I need more of these these memoria boxes if I want to get as close to finishing the memoria event as possible. Um, which is kind of weird because I'm not taking the faster daily for Hotel Liburnium, but, um, I'm just kind of used to doing those dailies at this point, so I just do what I do. So as soon as I finish all this stuff, cap my coins, and, um, pretty sure I did the wish thing for today. Um, yeah, I did, I just have to claim the leaves, I can claim these later. I am officially getting off and going to bed. Okay, uh, pretty sure this is my first time recording for the second week. Of anniversary, it is day nine, so I completely skipped over day eight. But I did everything on day eight, and I did all my Don't Warrior stuff on day nine, including 
um, Maple Adventure Dungeon Blast to get those EXP tickets. I need to see how many I'm sitting on at the moment, and it's 1,000. So that'll probably get me to like 60% if I use them. Yeah, pretty close to it. Um, about two more days until 2.33 probably, though the Sunday is coming up, which will be another 2x EXP tickets from Dungeon Blast, and um, that will... I mean, I'm still gonna hit 2.33 in two days regardless. So with that being said, I'm probably like 10 days away from Esfera on this character, I want to say. Uh, so, you know, 10 days, get to Esfera, do the thing for the symbols and be done. Um, I'll say a week from today, I have 2,400 coins right now. So a week from today, I'll be at 4,800 minus 3,000 for the event ring, which I'm also getting the event ring on the day at 233 as well. Um, so I'll be at 1,800. And then three more days after that, which will probably include a Sunday, I'll be at 3,000 coins, which is enough for like 50 Esfera symbols. So I could do the daily and the weekly and get like 100 something Esfera symbols. It will push me real close to level 6 on Esfera. So as soon as I hit level 6 on Esfera, that will probably be it. Uh, after dailies today, I can now level this up to 11. But I'll still hold on to it for a little bit for now. It seems like in a couple more days. I'll be able to level up, like, all of these symbols again, get an extra 500 side off of that. But before I do any weeklies on here, I want to wait for Monday reset just so I can do the arcade weeklies again and get the 45 symbols off of that. Is there anything I can get from the candy shop on this character? I'm sitting on 3,000 candies at the moment. Um, I might go for a good amount of cosmetics, honestly. I mean, that's, that's what candies are for. It's literally for cosmetics. First thing I'm going to get is a share. I freaking love this chair, and I don't have room, but let me show you why I love this chair so much. I have so many items I can drop, oh my goodness. Can't sit on chairs at event maps, so I had to leave, but sit on it. And then you got the anniversary music playing. It's such a nice chair because it's like, you got the pony rides and stuff like that. It's so cool, the unicorns and stuff. And to top it all off, let me show you something even crazier about this chair. This is like advanced technology right here. This music player box click on it you could choose music from a bunch of anniversaries and stuff you got maple island which is the 20th maple moment tree 19th anniversary shout out to this time last year of the reboot series moving forest 18th anniversary hotel maple 17th neutral kingdom 16th 15th street i don't know why all these are in english honestly 15th anniversary uh cosmic main I guess that's what they call it over here. I actually honestly forgot. But that's the 14th anniversary. Monster World. Not too familiar on this, honestly. Happy Time. This is the um, Elite Boss old reward room music, which is legacy content now because Elite Bosses no longer have the reward room anymore. And then Rising Star, which was around the time of the 8th anniversary, about 12 years ago. Uh, this one was such a huge throwback, honestly, when I first started from the chair. It's so ridiculous. I got this weird thing going on with this anniversary of just wanting to collect as many cosmetics as possible on both servers, Reboot and Luna. I'm like freaking crazy with it. I have no idea why. On top of that, let me show you something else real quick. Maple Memoria, you know, the, the museum of the old maple items using my chance times today. I will be claiming this. I will be claiming this. And I will be claiming this. And then with all of that, I have finally finished the first to third anniversary items. And I get a maple umbrella. Luckily, it's an X and it's not like an actual weapon that I wouldn't be able to wear because I'm not playing a one-handed sword class or something. But go ahead, get this, get off of that. Use a maple umbrella. Boom. <laughs> That's it. I'm happy. It is one down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more to go. Next up, I want to go for the popsicle. Now, the popsicle is a face accessory, so I can actually wear it without losing stats from Choo Choo. Gee, I'm so addicted to the Choo Choo set, dude. <laughs> so I'll be going after the seventh anniversary stuff next because I want to get that popsicle. Um, and which doesn't look like too much. Was it twelve? Uh, 24, 25 things, and I have one, so at most it will take me eight more days to get the popsicle. I'll hold on to my remaining candies for now, 
and even after I cap today, which I'll be at 1500 afterwards. But um, maybe sometime later down the road, I will get more items and talk more about the items that I get. There's a few awards to sell to claim. Um, I'll just go ahead and claim this because it's just 600 extra leaves. And then there's also symbols, 100 symbols, sack symbols. They work on Odium. I need them. With 4,500 maple leaves and 300 more I'm getting today, that means tomorrow I can go to the shop and buy out all of the Hotel Arcus symbols. 50 of them at 100 coins each, so go through all of those. And then I will be at, uh, not a lot. And then with the 100 Odium symbols that I have right now, not a lot. Still gonna take me forever <laughs> to get these up. I think if I buy all the symbols in the shop, all three of these symbols will once again be leveling up around the same time. So level 8 Odium, level 9 Arcus, and maxed out Cernium. I can't believe it. It's gonna be so soon. I'm already about to max out Cernium on my buck. But all three of them will level up around the same time, and I'm gonna be at 280 force with an extra 600 flat stat. And I saw the coin shop this week. Hotel symbols, so I buy out the hotel symbols. Yeah, yeah maybe start getting droplets, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know. At least you be with 200 left for droplets, and the next week will be 1200. So I gotta spend all those on droplets. So it won't be until week four when I buy out the droplets, and I will just buy whatever after that. Maybe I continue doing Dawn Warrior stuff after I hit Esfera. So I can use it to buy out droplets from here too, without using any coins in my buck. There's also certain symbols, and I'm buying these right after Arcus, and then... I'm not sure what I'll do after that, maybe flames. Probably gonna buy a lot of flames. I gotta be bound to make a game with flames somewhere during this event, right? Right? I guess only time will tell. I'm going to go do my dailies. Day 10 of Anniversary. And today is April 29th, 2023 in Korea, which is the official release date of MapleStory. MapleStory today has officially turned 20 years old. To celebrate this birthday, there is an event that is going on only for today. And it is called the 20th Spring Dream. It's a little bit of um, like an investigation event where you kind of like go to certain maps throughout the uh, event area, which I can't start it until I'm in here, by the way. They give you three different prompts, and then for each prompt, you have to go to a certain anniversary map and answer a question. Here are my prompts. I'm going to take a picture of this real quick, just so I can have it saved for where I need to go. The first prompt I got tells me to go to Blooming Forest. Not exactly sure what NPC I'm supposed to talk to over there, though. And also, this map is annoying. I... <laughs> I'm just gonna say it up front, like, this map has honestly been kind of annoying with all of, like, the, um, the whole bounce pads and the movement stuff and whatever, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, I found who I'm supposed to talk to. This person right here. So, I believe I have to answer a question. Maybe I have to give him, no, I think I have to give him an item first. The monster I have to go to to get the item that I need for this event is in... Uh, Megadia, and it is like that one freaky looking like ghost thing with the dude holding the uh, the the beaker with like another like blob in there. You, you know, I, I don't even know, I don't even know how to explain it. Let me see if I can find it here. No, not them. Uh, them. Wait, you can't even see it. I'm <laughs> these guys, level 90 quest area. Just go ahead and accept the quest to go there, and that's all I have to do. Going over there now. Pretty sure I just have to collect one item. But, um... If I have to collect a few, then I will let that be. Just to be on the safe side. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't exactly know what item I'm supposed to collect. But, uh, let's just hope that that's good enough. Okay, got the necessary item. Now I have to put in a password when I talk to them again. Um, I have a cheat sheet open. I know what the password is. I'm just gonna copy paste it. There we go. All right, one down, three to go. Ooh, for my next area, I get to visit the neutral town. But before I come here, I need to go buy a fish spear from the Parion weapon shop. 
I wonder why they would want a fish spear of all things. Where in the world is it? Uh, right here. Here I am. Uh, more than likely have to talk to Chief Stan. Just taking a wild guess. Oh yeah, I absolutely have to talk to Chief Stan. Gave him the fish spear, and now I gotta put in the password for it. To which I'm going to go over and... Oh, it's actually just neutral sword. Um, nice. The last area I have to go to is Hotel Maple. And over at Hotel Maple, I need to get... Or before I go there, I need to go to Gold Beach and fight some coconut slimes and get a coconut. So grateful for doing these theme dungeons on my first day of playing the reboot server. Oh, man. Hotel Maple is right here. Now, I'll probably have to talk to, like, the main dude of this event, which is this guy right here. And, uh, I am correct. Ooh, I like the password for this one. It is, um, Blast of the Past, man. Maple Infinity Pool. Got that done. And, finish all three prompts so I get a box. But you cannot open this box unless you go to the Moment Tree map. Not sure why that is, but that's just how it is. Here I am in Moment Tree. We have uh, Ellie and Reese over here, and they are going to come and give me my rewards, which is huge, by the way. It's 2,000 maple leaves, 2,000 maple candies, and 2,000 EXP tickets. Now, for the EXP tickets, you automatically get the EXP as soon as you use them. So I need to go ahead and put them in the storage and put them in my dom over here. I was not aware of this event at all. I mean, I was aware of it, but I completely forgot that it was going to happen. So I'm pretty sure I can just level up my Dawn Warrior today with just simply these EXP tickets that I have. I will go ahead and... Actually, I'll use all my candies on here. But for the leaves... I need to see... Like, I might just go ahead and get the event ring on my Dawn Warrior today. Use however many it needs, and then I'll be that. Alright, I had a Black Flame from bossing. Um... I'm gonna throw it on the cape again. I wonder if I'm gonna get like a near matching flame like last time. Chances are super low though. Yeah, super low. If that strength thought it was all stat, then that would have not been better. No, kidding. Oh, this character is super leveling from the ZXP tickets. I am also missing 600 coins. I don't know why I put 50 mil in the storage when this character already had like 50 mil to begin with. But um, I'm just gonna take out 600 of these. And then I'm going to take out all the EXP tickets, and then I will level up. Oh, put these in the storage. Man, I sure do love free EXP. Let me go ahead and drop them on real quick. 1740 for 233. Two more levels until the Sphera. Uh, use these, and then we're good. Add four epic bots in the storage, uh, just because I'm yeah, pretty sure I needed them. Potential stamps, I got four of them. There's no way they all fail. Okay, now I have to go through the hassle of getting to the coin shop. Uh, alright, I'm here. Event ring. What do I have? Uh, glory. I just get awake. Wait, I forget these always come with three lines anyway. Okay, cool. Epic pot. First try. Now I just keep for 9%. That took all about 20 cubes. <laughs> Put that on. I have a symbol to level up. May as well just go ahead and level it right now. And boom. That is quite a bit of stat gained. I don't run any stat links on this character, so I can just go ahead and see how much stat I have right now. And it's 16.2. Oh my goodness, this is getting pretty huge. Now all of the following maple leaves will go towards Esfera symbols. Day 11 of anniversary. Uh, today is also the last day of April, so starting a reset it will then be May. Got another 15 extreme growth pots, so I'll probably use these here eventually on another character. Actually, I'll get one of my... what character I was looking up earlier? Um, this guy. i pop one more potion on the, uh, that character, and then I'll just go over to my Kadena, and then use the rest of the Kadena. I'll just get the rest of my mules on here to 200, and I'll probably be it. But anyway, I did all my Dawn Warrior dailies, plus Monster Park. I also started popping some coupons for Dawn Warrior dailies as well. These might not be a frequent thing, but I don't really think I'm using much of the Legion coins at the moment anyway. I'm going to be too occupied with some other stuff. And then, um, yeah, pretty much it. Uh, I got 900 maple leaves at the moment, so that's 900 symbols for Isfera. And then for EXP tickets, I'm sending on 500, in which today is Sunday Maple. I have not done Dungeon Blast yet, so I get another 1k from Dungeon Blast today. And it'll probably bring me to around 70-ish percent. 
So I will maybe hit... I think if I do weeklies, I might hit 234 tomorrow. Maybe. If I'm not 234 tomorrow, then I'm guaranteed 234 in like two days. I'm also about to hit 80 items collected in the Memoria. Uh, I started grinding a little bit again. I've been grinding like for the past uh, couple of days and getting some pretty nice EXP. I will show you how the routine is for grinding as soon as I finish all my don't worry stuff. Though I'm kind of already done. I just have to do Dungeon Blast now. But other than like the Sunday of 2x leaves, candies, and uh, EXP points, it is also 2x portal day and it is also 2x EXP for Monster Park today. Uh, so APE on Buck is going to be really good. I was getting like 4% of run from Morass Monster Park on my dome over here. And yes, I can actually one-shot everything in Morass now. Okay, Dungeon Blast is done. I have 1,500 EXP tickets now. So we're going to go ahead and turn all these in. Probably get around 76% maybe. Yeah, 76. So I... Actually, yeah, no. 234 should definitely happen tomorrow. There's just plenty of EXP. I'm gonna get on the book now. So ever since this anniversary started, I've been raising some questions for myself. How am I going to finish the Memoria event if I'm not going to be grinding that much? How am I going to take advantage of the 3x coupons? Or the 2 month spirit appendant? Sp like, why do I keep saying that? I, anyway, I came up with the solution. But I have to say goodbye to both pots. But it's going to be really, really freaking good EXP. And I do want levels anyway. Um, I took the 3x's. You know, just one at a time until I finish the stack. I have five left. And I figured, what if, what's if I, uh, I grind 30 minutes a day, both guild skills, in Odium at Occupied Alley. I do Occupied Alley 4. Apparently, I can kill about 15k mobs an hour there with everything. Which, um, honestly, I take Occupied Alley 4 right now over Gate 4 because I'm pretty sure Gate 4, especially at this time of day, is probably going to be real freaking busy. Alley 4 might have some people there as well, but I'd rather chill there than on Gate 4 where it's like super crowded. Surprised I could even pull off 15k there, honestly, but it's really with like the University Coin Captain skill, which is another thing. It gives a lot of EXP upon activation. Like I'm talking like 4 bill per proc 20 times a day, so may as well just use this every day. Cap it out get a lot of exp um i'll show you guys how much exp i get as soon as i finish up with the grind uh i'll go over there kind of show what i do a little bit and then go to 30 minutes gonna wait for my uh maple warrior stack though also i'm pretty sure i've caught up with this no 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 this is definitely caught up for sure uh so i will get this chair which is funny because i already saw someone in game with the chair i'm just like dang they train really freaking hard for it i think i have um what was it? Yeah, I put three boxes in the storage, so I'm at 83 right now. I'll use them all up at the moment, and then we will see how many more I get from my 30-minute session. Dang, stage three burns. Someone's here. Crap. Okay, now I just hope I don't crash. I have to change channels too much. Um, it does make sense though. People will definitely be here. And then I go to the next channel. There's no burn, and now I'm pissed because I want burning. No. Stage 4 burns, someone's here. Dude, I swear, people will, like, actually look for burning maps like Vultures, I bet. I literally guarantee you anything that is stage 3 or higher is taken. I lied. Popped everything. Dang, I'm 45k stopped, though. Let me put this down. And, uh, use my buffs. Start the BA. And I'll just go this way. Uh, with my buffs active, I'm one-shotting. Pretty easily, honestly. Uh, not too bad. I think, um, it usually only really feels bad whenever Lord of the Deep is going. Because of course, because I'm not one-shotting these guys consistently, Lord of the Deep does go on cooldown, and then whenever it does, oh my goodness, I'm in a world of pain. Unless I use, um, I think I can at least use Maple Warrior 2 while my Lord of the Deep is on cooldown. And then with that being the case, then I'm chilling. I should hopefully be chilling. We'll do like one minute of this, 20 more seconds. As you can see, I'm already at like 190, 200 kills. Absolutely ridiculous. CXC proc happened. 4.09 kills from it. I'm uh, about like a minute, not even a minute in. I'll be a minute in after I put this back down. 
and uh, it is 16 billion XP in one minute. See, so you guys literally just sat there and saw me get 16 billion XP. Absolutely freaking busted. <laughs> also, a box shop. But that is what we're trying to aim for. That is the goal. I think once I actually finish the Memoria thing, though, I'm probably going to be grinding a bit less. But I still want to find a way to take advantage of all the EXP coupons. Six minutes in, 1,517 kills, 107 billion EXP attained. Now, of course, these rates are a lie. They're a fraud. And they're only ever this high when I actually have my coin capping skills up. And, yes, the EXP as well, because if I were to actually keep that up consistently, I'd be getting over 1 trillion EXP per hour. Over 1 trillion EXP per hour. But, uh, my laughable mesos, 194 mil an hour with these rates. But I only got 29.4 in 6 minutes, of course. So I'd make all that EXP, but I'd still make less than 300 mil per hour. It'd be, um... A lot higher for sure though, like 360 mil plus if I had a multiplier. Simply because, I mean, literally 1.2x mesos, and I don't even have a 100% drop rate from meso bags. But again, I'm really more into the EXP in the situation anyway, so it's whatever. Wrapping it up, I am going to uh, Alt F4 and uh, see the EXP gain as soon as everything officially expires, which is right around now. Alright, it's time to check. Uh, 71.5 to 73.8, so 2.3% in 30 minutes. I love 3x coupons, man. I love Maple Story. It's actually so broken. Like, doing that plus dailies, I probably get at least maybe 3.5% a day or something really ridiculous. That, um, that is really, really going to help me out a lot. And considering how much EXP I have left, I will probably maybe hit 279 in about a week like seven to eight days possibly i will go ahead and finish the rest of my day these now and then i have covert because today is sunday and then uh, i also want to talk about the crossword pq event with blacklist because the second password is out and there is a long gruesome tiring process to get a chat in a name label ring <laughs> not even joking it's ridiculous Pretty sure I can also level IED to 4 now. Yeah, I can. We're good. Nice. Oh yeah, I also got 9 boxes, so I believe that puts me at 92. Alright, dailies are done, except for culverts and APE. I'm actually in APE right now at the exit because I crashed in the middle of a run. Because the party had to change channels, probably because channel 1 might have been full to get into. So I crashed because I changed channels. I love this game. Luckily for MPE. If you crash in the middle of a run, it doesn't actually matter if your party clears or not, you'll still be able to re-enter no matter what, because you didn't get the EXP. It would especially suck on a day like this, where it's 2x EXP from Monster Park today, and I do want my 200, about 210 build EXP. I'm about to say 240, but I'm not 180, or two level 280 yet. Okay, let me see how I do running this down. I really, really hope I don't mess this up. Uh, I just need my decents. Wait, my decents got procced. Thankfully, I don't have to wait that long, and I don't have my crit damage skill on. Uh, but I will buff up with everything else, and I'll just patiently wait until my decents come back on, and then I can go. Thankfully, I actually can go. I will have time. There you have a minute. Yeah, I have like a minute. We're good. No crit damage skill this time. I think I'm going to uh, save the whetstones for a bit, for a while. It is time. Dice. Double five. Good. But I say, if I didn't get at least like a three with it, then I would be using, um, what was it, Sunny? Boom. Get off. I forgot how to do this. Like, actually, for a little bit, I just should have forgot. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bring it forward right now. This AB right now. Ah, no, of course. See, I was like, if I use, <laughs> I couldn't see it, dude. I was like, if I use a uh, Halic Fist, and then like the last hit of it goes off, 
and I dash to the right, but then I would've... Oh, someone using my freaking skills. This is gonna be like a regular basic, I would just be talking about stuff. No personal best is happening to this one at all. But no, I use Hollow Fist, I go to the, um... I go to the left side, and I try to use my Serpent Vortex back to the center. But like, it didn't take me to the center, even though I press the left arrow key. So annoying. So I'm just like, dang, that's really just how it goes. Anyway, I got 50 seconds left. Uh, nothing noteworthy that I had to use at the moment. I should still be good. I should still be good. Um, remember, overdrive is a 28 second skill now, not a 30 second skill. Also, yeah, about to say, really, really important I get that last like time of what Fatal Strike was. Uh, overdrive now. Or three, so you said at 13 seconds left. So, Fatal Strike is, should be at like 5. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use this AP and 4. Probably send off the alley about 7 right now. Boom. Alright, got the Fatal Prop for it. Then, I just regularly hit 7.8. 7, yeah, I gotta say, I might have hit 7.9, but no worries. I guess it's not too bad of a score, but. Definitely could have been better. With Tim stats, I should regularly be getting 8k plus as long as I don't mess anything up. But I feel like I'm about to mess something up almost every week, so I'm fine with 7.5 plus for now. Anniversary day 12. Uh, 50 notes today. I just have to do one of the dailies, uh, which is really good because I'd be able to get that for my Dawn Warrior. And then plus, I got the extra Tim stack game with the Dawn Warrior. And then I also get to do arcade weeklies on it, get high level symbols. So now my Dawn Warrior will gain a lot more stat, and the bosses on there should be really smooth. Now, I didn't cover the Lackless thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Um, also, I did MPE yesterday and I got like 1.2%, and then I read it again, like today. I got 0 0.6 just because yesterday was 2x. So I'm at 76.4 now. Um, I think after doing everything else, um, I'll be at like 79% today, probably. Uh, after like the 30 minute grind and all that stuff. So we are closing ourselves in on 279. Probably six more days left after today. But anyway, let's get this started. This is really tedious for no reason. Um, all just to get a chat name tag and uh, chat bubble ring. This guy right here, he's wearing one I'm about to get right now. It actually lo looks not too bad, and I'm definitely going to be wearing it. I think the ribbon on it takes away a little bit of the style points, but um, I, I like the uh, I like the general main color of the name tag and the color that it turns your name into. So, the code that you need to put in in order to begin is... Uh, Lackless treasure Now let me show you how to spell it you got l4 k3 l1 s Exclamation points so you yell in lackless and then treasure tr34 sur3 So stupid So it begins we start off our journey in Hennesis And we got to talk to that one dude with like dr. Mushroom man or whatever his name is This guy right here so we talk to him, and he's going to give us a math question. Blue parentheses, blue mushroom minus horny mushroom in parentheses times green mushroom equals what? So let's take a look. Green mushroom. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? We got horny mushroom. Okay. And then we got blue mushroom. I, you guys can see any of that. Blue, mu <laughs> blue, blue mushroom, uh, horny mushroom, green mushroom. You see that? Okay. Remember those numbers that you saw in them and uh, try to use that for this. This is 14 minus 12. Going by monster levels, 14 minus 12. That's 2 times 10. 20. That is the correct answer. Quick maths. Now you gotta go collect 20 orange mushroom caps. Once that is done, you go over to this bush right here, and then you have to click on it. 
click on the bush, turn them in, and now you gotta go someplace else. This note is telling you to go to, uh, it mentions Elnath here, but that's not where we're going. We're going to Orbis next. We gotta talk to the dog. And the dog is telling us some things about what we gotta do afterwards. So now, we go over to Starforce Banes and Elnath. Thankfully, I trained here back in the day when I first started this character, so I'm very blessed. We gotta jump into the pit. In we go. The one time I'd ever intentionally come in here. We fight these guys until we get one of their items. This item here. And then we go back to Elnath. Talk to Alcaster. You have the dialogue of Alcaster, then you turn the item in. And I have to bring a Pepe, the, the Junior Pepe Fish, etc. item to a witch that is under an aqua road. But before I leave, I'm going to go ahead and make some space in my use inventory so I can purchase a bun, a steaming bun. Let me go ahead and kill one of these dudes real quick. Get that fish item and we move on. Now where we want to go next in order to see the witch is this first map here in the cave. This is the NPC that we're trying to talk to. So first map, we go in here and then we see her and we turn in the item. Next up, we go back to town and we find the NPC potion shop, which is uh, maybe down here. Yeah, okay. So down here, we got to buy one of these bubbles. And now we gotta go back to Orbis. Go into the guild house map, which I don't know why I put down over there. We go into the guild house map. I'm going to get up here and talk to this maple leaf here in the bubble. And we turn in both the bun and the bubble into this maple leaf. Next up, we have to go to the Kerning City subway. So, I mean, Kerning City's down here. And then I gotta go to the far left, which they already bring me here. And then you have to go and click right below this exit sign here in the subway, right around where my character was. After that, you have to go to Ariane, and um, you got to go into that like area with all the towns. So it should be in this portal right here. And then in here, you want to find the side of the house that is a different color from the rest of the houses, which is pretty much this under the shade. And that, that's what they were referring to. Afterwards, you want to go inside the house. And then you want to stand next to this scroll here, which has the red ribbons on it. Click a little bit next to it. And then you'll get that out of the way too. Now we have to go to Megadia. And in here, we need to go to an empty house. In this empty house... We have to click on this shelf that's at the very top, right about here, right? It's very precise to where you gotta click your stupid mouse. Uh, <laughs> and then afterwards, finally, at the very end, we click on this after going to the bottom right, and that did not work. What the heck? How about the one in the middle? Hold on. The one in the middle. Yes, okay, it was, it was one of the three, I think. I am not sure which one is which depending on like what you get what you have to do but anyway i'm done and then i get to claim my uh label rings gotta type in a whole essay over here again and here they are we got the chat one and the name one so we're just in a random chatting game real quick and that is not no i didn't have enough room for the chat one here let me try that again all right that's what it looks like and we're good to go there's still one more week of Blacklist left, but the final code has not been revealed as the actual quest itself isn't even out yet. So we have to wait until episode four for that one. But okay, it's potion time, and then I get to my Dawn Warrior. Just one on the dual blade, 5% chance I hit 200. So we'll see if I actually hit the 5%. All right, here it goes. I'm sure we all expected that one. I do the Kadena now. 14 of these, um, 197. All right, looking good. Never mind, I lied. Over here. Oh, wait, no, this actually, 196 is the lowest level I hit now. Oh, wait, no, this character's done. <laughs> I'm just getting to 199 and pass the potions to somebody else. And I still got two levels of that. Yo, I can just get one level for the rest of the way. It doesn't even matter. And 195 to 197. Okay, 
This will be the guy that hits 200 off of this potion right here. It did not. That's that's crazy though. That's insane. It only took me 10 potions. What the heck? The last four will now go to um I guess whoever was next to the cadena on the page. And that's that's uh Shadower. Okay, maybe 180. Okay, I, I should definitely hit 180. What the heck? Alright, here goes it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> I got so many levels today. What did I get to? 8,552. Oh my goodness. Yo, next week, this guy is guaranteed 199. And I could just move on to the next character. I say whenever I finish with quite literally everyone, then I just go ahead and level the Battle Mage to 141 and throw him on the Battle Mage. I still have the Terra Burn, but it's just like, oh, I don't have it on this character. Oh, wait, uh, it's right here. I'm blind. Um, I just don't know when I'm going to actually commit to doing the Terra Burn because it's not like I really have to. I'm not going to get any Legion levels off of it. But anyway, it's done with your Arcane Daily and Weekly Time and also time to get it to 234 off of all of that stuff. Let me transfer some mesos to there so I have mesos to level up the symbols and stuff. Don't worry, your daily's done. Dungeon blast included. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer over these mesos, and I got the arcane with these done as well. So I have four symbols to level up. And uh Moras is one off from reaching level eight. That's okay. I probably wasn't gonna boss near today anyway. I mean it's just a hundred flat stats, whatever. Also, I got to 97%. I... Hmm, okay, this was... I forgot what I started at. I'm pretty sure I was in like the high 70s, maybe 76. So yeah, I went from 76 to 97 today, thanks to the weeklies. So I'll be using the EXP tickets from Dungeon Blast to hit 234. So 235 will probably be in like four days, I want to say. Current stat now is... uh 16.7k. Cool. Um, I should, I think I definitely will hit 17k before Sphera. It'll be just a few days of dailies and I'm there. Like, three days of Road of Vanishing, uh, two days of Arcana, one day of Morass, and then I'll be at 17k stat. The goal probably would just be to stop at 18k, so whenever I do hit 18k, I am done. Got some nodes today. I'm going to go ahead and use these. I don't think this did much of my boost nodes. Actually, wait, no, that's two levels. So that goes from 32 to 34. Oh, okay. I'm at 36 now. I just need to figure out a way to get four more levels on my boost nodes. And I'm probably set. I'll buy three nodes for Cosmos, which should get it to level 7. And that's it. Matrix points. It's level 11 now. It is now time we claim this season's chariot mount. And it's a giant electric cat. I'm gonna use it real quick, click on my character, go over to my mounts, and then put it on. It looks really cool actually, and uh, yeah, I assume it flies as well. It has a teleport function for 3 months, but whenever you teleport somewhere you get a 30 minute cooldown on it of course, so I'm probably not even going to remember to use it, but whenever it's convenient I will. But everything is just about done for day 12, I just have to do my 30 minute grind now. I've literally done all of my dailies. Except for the Odium Daily. Uh, yeah, no, literally everything is done. Even Ursus. I don't really care about burning this time around. I just want to go ahead and grind and then get it done. Uh, afterwards, it is definitely time I should start doing some of my bosses though. Because there's only like two full days left until weekly boss reset. Oh, we got people here anyway. I wonder how many channels I have to move before I find a map. Okay, free map the next channel. I'm good to grind. Grind is done. Um, pretty horrible, honestly. I think I did not have a room for a very long time, and I'm over here sitting on my second room with over a minute left. Uh, so I only got around like 2.1, almost 2.2% today. It is what it is, though. Uh, I got myself 10 of the Memoria boxes, so that's honestly pretty freaking broken. So I get to open all these and see where I'm at. Also, I need to remember to turn in my dailies. Otherwise, bad things will happen and make sure I maintain professions. It's also May now. Completely forgot to bring that up, but it is reward point reset month. So I need to go ahead and start capping out my reward point so fast. I love the first of every month because I have like so many reward points saved up from bosses that I just go ahead and get like 
almost 10k on the first day, and 10k is as much as you can get in one day. As for my Memoria, I am at 110 now, as soon as I open all of these boxes. So I'm almost a third of the way done with the entire event, and we are just about to finish the second week of it. You can see here for the popsicle, uh, one, two, three, four, about four more days at most before I get my popsicle. And day 13 has started for anniversary. Uh, I just finished my 30 minute grind, so I'm about to go do my other grand estate as well. But I think I got almost 2.3% this time around, so not too bad. Unfortunately, I only somehow got three boxes, three memoria boxes. I am not sure why it was so bad this time around, but it is what it is. That's just how RNG goes. Got a lot I want to get done today. Uh, at the very least, I want to do my boss mules. Uh, either my boss mules or all of my bucks bosses. Uh, if anything, I might do boss mules plus like sea slime. Just because literally that one boss alone adds so much time to my bucks bossing, it's ridiculous. I can get everything else done within a fairly reasonable amount of time as long as I get chaos slime out of the way. I think what I might also do is finally reflame this toilet mark and uh, i'm gonna stop being scared initially i just like constantly use black flames to stuff but from here on out i'm going to be using some rainbow flames um so i'll just buy out 20 of these and then i can get like 80 from the anniversary stops so that's at least 100 rainbow flames funny enough that is not enough flames on average to be able to get the flame that i want to get which is around like 60 and 6 so like an extra 20 stat or something on it uh but we will still go ahead and test our luck anyway if anything, Weekly Coin Shop will give me 100 flames from here, and in the base coin shop I can get another, I say like 80 flames. Um, but I won't buy all those flames just yet, I'm going to be buying like 20 flames at a time. I just bought them so they should be, yeah, in here. I got 22 flames to use, so we're just going to go ahead and test our luck right now. Goodbye, hold on, just to be safe, okay. <laughs> Goodbye 40 and 6, you will be missed. We, uh, we go. I was also 60 and 6 on it, which is, uh, pretty figure ridiculous. Uh, the goal is, yeah, like I said before, just to get that for strength. See, this would have been done if this was strength, 72 and 5, but of course I get luck. So this mark has seen, what, luck and int so far? Cool. I'm done. <laughs> That's only 17 flames! <laughs> Yeah, let me just let me just drop the 7 C flames on here real quick for the extra stat, y'all. Too easy. I did lose 20 decks, and 20 decks is like 2 stat. So it was overall an increase by like 18 flame score. Which is still pretty good, considering I spent like nothing. My uh, Estelle earrings are lacking quite a bit, honestly. 69 and 4. That is like 20 stat down, if anything. I'm not sure how lucky I'd be for that. Black Bean Mark, I gotta check how like this would go in terms of flame score on it. Because I think this might be able to stay here a little bit just because the item is such a low level. 115-ish is probably like in-game for this. I don't know if I want to go for 115. That, that's a bit much. Um, but the earrings, they want like 130. All the level 160 items want 130. All the level 150 items want 120 or 140 slash 150. And, uh, so, like, my top could use a reflame. If anything, yeah, no, my top and the earrings. I think, I don't know. I definitely want to at least try to get the items that are off by, like, 20 first. And if I do get, like, 10 below, like, 110 with rainbows, then I will just keep that and black flame them. And then I'll just work on something else. Um, I guess? I don't know. If anything, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I, it'd be like that. I'm going for the earrings. What am I going to get? Command and Force earrings? Yeah, funny joke. Okay. <laughs> Here it goes. 85 flames. The goal is, uh, oh, something very similar to the book, I suppose, which is 91 and 4. Definitely not touching the book. Yeah, it begins. Oh, I got 113. Oh my goodness, bruh. 65 and 6 luck. Okay, you know what? I got to keep 113. Uh, <laughs> in terms of, um, wait, wait, keep 113, 
No. No, 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 no. I'm just like, wait, okay, I confused it to be a uh, level 150 item for a second there. Now, 70 and 5 strength is probably what I'd want to see before I, like, settle in Black Flame or at least just settle on it. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. But yeah, I think that 65 and 6 luck is the highest I've seen so far. I only have 50 flames left, so... Ooh... Um, might not be too great. Dang, I like your four flat decks, and then it was minus 20 levels. Very, very interesting. That was all stat. Uh, crap. Int 70 and 6, highest flame now. I'd have gotten a bit too over my head with the Twilight Mark. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Hmm. Hmm. I might have to throw some mesos on some red flames, if anything. Uh save myself a little bit because I still want to have a usable flame like at the very least the very very least 89 and 5 and yeah I love maple story that's that's perfectly fine that's perfectly fine great cool 75 and 6 ints yo what is with these ant rules yo I'm out of flames that's it it's over I wasn't gonna be touching that top yo I might have to red flame this now oh my goodness it can be so expensive <laughs> If that speeder jump was all stats, I would have been done. I don't want to keep 90 friggin' 3, bruh. I honestly don't want to, like... I don't want to end off with the worst flame than what I started at, which was just 109. So I gotta at least get, like, 110 or better again before I just stop for the time being. Uh, dang, that goes. Alright, here it goes. 100 red flames. Whatever. It is what it is. We use these and we see if we get anything good. I keep going till I hit 110, and then after I hit 110, I black flame it. And if I don't get anything from the black flames, then that's it. But yeah, I'll literally be spending the rest of my Legion coins, because I mean, I'm not really using them at all anyway. I'm only going to see ints on this thing, aren't I? That's, that's it. That's all I'm ever going to see. There's no way. A 1% st or a 1 stat increase, bruh. I'm about to lose my mind. I don't even... <sighs> Dude, it's like... That's 110, and I... S <sighs> like, why would you give me 110 at the bare minimum, though? What's up with that? <sighs> oh, no. No. But you, re you say you hit certain things, and then when you hit it, it like... You hit like the bare minimum, it's, it feels so terrible, bro. I don't even care if I made a mistake. I I definitely have the mesos to make up for it. If I get one, okay, fine, fine, fine. If I get 110 again, I'm gonna keep it. I I guess. Oh, this is painful. Dang, that's 104. Um, we keep on going. Okay, two, one, and zero. 100 more flames. A hundred more flames. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Flaming is actually so sad. Like, this might be one of the worst things to spend your money on. I love star forcing. And like, star forcing is fun. Star forcing is a banger. Cubing is like I, right, but it can get pretty freaking boring sometimes. But flaming? Oh my goodness, dude. Flaming is <sighs> Bruh. This is the last thing you want to do for your gear. You start force, and then you cube, and then you flame. 70 and 6 cents. Cool. This is looking like 100 more flames. I, um... Oh, crap. Man. This sucks. Yep, 100 more flames. That's all the boss meal money right there, pretty much. Let's just hope this batch actually hits something. Imagine you're like, dude, right? And you just got your will book. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. You start flaming it a little bit. After like a few flames, you hit 70 and 6. And you like show people the book. And you're like happy and stuff about the book. And then you got the people in the back telling you, nah, the book's not good till it's 84 and 6. At least, bare minimum, it's pitch boss, it's in game. Now, unless all your other gear is completely fucking finished. <laughs> You better not reflame that book. That's a crazy luck flame. I cannot believe this, bro. I really gotta buy another batch of 100 flames. Ah, in hindsight, I should have really kept that one set, huh? I am done. Maple Story is a very unfriendly game. 
I finally hit 130, bro. Check. I no, no, I've seen only fun. But I say this, there is absolutely no way I am 52k stat. Um, 51.5 no. So I gained like 231 stat, I believe, off um the 41 stat that I gained from flaming. Understandable. Pretty sure that's like a 0.5% final damage gain. Nice. Now let's, let's pray I don't get like the itch for real. But I kind of want to see something real quick. I won't get the itch, I promise. I'm going to buy 100 black cubes. With the money, or with these black cubes, I'm going to cube an accessory. My Meister Ring to be exact. And I'm going to see if I can hit 30% on it. Now... The defense line removal is just really like a test drive, honestly. There's no way I actually hit 30% strength. But with the defense line removal, it is to be expected to see lines a lot more often. Um, with black cubes, trying to see 30% stat or 30% strength is... Um, I think it's easier by, I want to say, 20-something percent. So it's, it's like a lot easier now. It's almost a permanent cube sale, really. But KMS doesn't really get cube sales, so it's uh, it's whatever. And then also with higher chance of prime lines, see, that's, that could have been 33 strength. Obviously, I wouldn't roll 33 strength because this game does not like me enough to do that. 30 yet. There's my first 30. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can roll any more 30% before I run out of black cubes. Whoa! Oh, that could have been 36 luck. Oh my goodness. Ideally, in a world where I finish Star Forcing, I would just red cube. I would red cube for 30% all the way. And also, I've seen 30 ints once and 27 int twice. This ring and its int, dude, or just the int lines today have been getting on my nerves. Look, 27 strength, but it's actually worse because having a 9 all stat on top is better. I see it again. Where's the 30? What the heck? But as you can see, I have no problem in the ro in the world rolling 27s on anything anymore. Like, if I have something that's not 27, I would have to just go ahead and get it to 27 right now. Um, so we're doing an equipment review. Literally, if I don't see you at 27, that's all my commitment's gonna be. But it looks like everything is already 27. Not touching the gloves or line of stat, that's garbage. Um, dang! That's not my cube gotta be done, bruh. <laughs> Man, no room for easy strategy, boy. All right, this about does it for my experience experiments, though. Yeah, I I, I think this is where I stop. Honestly, it, I gotta keep on saving for my arcanes. Uh, if anything, I wow, look at that, twenty-seven for the third time in a hundred cubes. If anything, I I don't know. I don't really have anything else I want to flame. I feel like considering the cube changes, I would rather cube for 3% stat and have that be the same cost of my accessories versus flaming for another 18 stat on my top or another 8 stat on my pants or um, another 10 stat on my hat. So yeah, not too great. I'll just take my flame gains and, and leave with them. Not too bad for what I've spent, honestly, especially since considering I spent 100 on black cubes for fun. It could black flame my uh, top. So I'm gonna black flame my top. And I think the rest of the event flames will strictly be going to black flaming my top. Because I don't want to mess up and get a bad flame and then have to redo it with reds and spend money on reds again. Because that's miserable. Uh, I am not gonna ruin anything good. I saw 40 and 4 strength. And now I'm seeing 48 and 6 ints. That actually would be better if that was strength, funny enough. But uh, huh! What the heck? <laughs> I gained 8 stat. Yo, nice! Okay, I gained uh, 49 stat off of Flaming today. Let me get another stat check. 51,589. Dang, just a little bit more of a push than I would have been at 51.6. But uh, I guess I'll just be at 51.6 whenever I level up to 279. I have an important announcement. Especially an announcement so crazy coming from me because it's usually stuff that I don't really like or want to do. But, with the ongoing events of the 20th anniversary, 
you know, with my Dome Warrior almost being done with dailies. I kind of want to attempt to pursue another Boston character. I cannot believe I outright just said that. That actually is, like, ridiculously insane. Now the question is, what Boston meal will I pick this time around? It'd be a character that I want to do dailies up to 235 on, at most. Just because, yeah, you know, 235. Please. Also, I'm sick and tired of my arc looking like this. I'm gonna buy the transparency that it needs. It's May now, we got mileage. I think I've already decided the, decided the character in my head. And it's gonna be this whole twist of like, never let them know your next move type beat because the character I'm about to say, especially with the things I've said in the past, is going to be really, really, really insane and it's gonna throw so many people off, oh my goodness. I'm not gonna start doing like arcane dailies and monster park on it until my doll warrior is finished. Um, but it's about to be so insane. Like, I don't even know what to say. Okay, so what does this arc need? This arc needs a transparent face. It, it needs a transparent face, transparent eye, transparent earrings, and transparent shoes. Yes, I'm getting transparent shoes. So my feet are gonna be on the ground. Apparently, the best shoes in Maple Story are, uh, no shoes, but all right. I finally defeated Mark's look. The only reason why I didn't get these before is because I had no mileage when I initially made the character, but I never got around to finishing the look on it. Ah, finally, so much better. Not really. The bossing new character meal I'm going to play. Zero. <laughs> oh my goodness. You might be wondering what the absolute hell has come of me to make a decision so rash, so ridiculous, so stupid. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't even know. But I figure this is a pretty nice opportunity to see how it would go for um, taking advantage of the anniversary events and all the anniversary stuff. I really want to see how fast I can level with the uh, dailies plus dungeon blast beyond level 200 and see how far I can take it. Like, I'm pretty sure 220 will be stupid easy, and uh, most people have their boss meals parked at 220 anyway. But, of course, knowing me, I, ca I don't really like level 220. I want to try to get to 235, get, like, more, more symbol stat and stuff like that. So that is what we will try to accomplish. One of the most important things about this is the Maple Memoria. I'll be able to get some really old Maple items that might actually end up being really, really good for um, the progression of this character. First thing I could get is the hero secondary, the absolute best in slot hero secondary. So I have to unlock that, but then I have to pay 50 maple leaves to buy it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get the leaves from today, which, crap, I didn't even claim the wish on my buck. Uh, I gotta claim the wish on my buck, and get the signature leaves and give it to my hero. I'm gonna transfer over these flames as well. Also, I have 5,500 maple candies, and I can still get 500 more for the day. So I'm gonna see if there's anything in the anniversary shop that I can actually, you know, maybe give the character a decent -ish look. I really like the hotel maple outfit, honestly. Um, I figured that might have been one of the best anniversary outfits, so I'm going to go ahead and give my hero that. Also, give it the umbrella weapon as well. Gonna need some serious transparency on here as well. Yeah, I can only maybe get like a few, um, maybe four, but more than likely just three. I would rather get face and eye. Um, oh, there's glove. Actually, no, let me get glove. I definitely want glove. I might not be able to get cape because cape is really expensive for whatever reason. Your rings don't look too bad, so that's like not that's okay. Uh, but now cape over here. Oh, I barely have enough for the cape. We're good. Alright, this is a bit better. Let me get the treasure secondary real quick. 50 coins, there we go. And then this is my secondary. Um, obviously, I currently have one that's 6% strength for attack, so I'll just continue to use that one instead. If I have enough feature coins for an E pot, oh, I definitely have enough. Um, go ahead and buy an E pot, and then I will just uh, keep it with the cubes and bosses. Will I land the 1.18%? Most likely no. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit it. No worries. I have some accessories I wanna flame. 
Just these two for now. Not exactly sure how much I'd go for, but probably somewhere in the 60 to 70 range. 60 would be like the bare minimum, 42 and 4. Alright, that's perfect. <laughs> and this eye accessory is what, 9? So yeah, um, we'll just try to go for 60 on it. That's good enough. Hero was known for having abysmal crit rate, so Phantom Link is probably going to be mandatory. Um, you say B on here. Spirit Freedom. Uh, thief, BA, Kadena, Mage, uh, I, this is my setup. Let me epot my emblem as well, and I'll just go ahead and the cold cube it for 6%. Okay, let me start getting the fifth job done now. Okay, fifth job. Let's go ahead and get this so quick. I'm trying to see if I can get, like, Decent sharp eyes as soon as possible. I might have to transfer some notes from the buck, if anything. Maybe like 20. Let me get my arcane symbol first. I'm gonna pop all the buffs in the book. See how strong Hero really is. I'm gonna get into some chaos with somebody. And it's another hero. Okay, I got my mob done. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh god, the chaosing, bro. Skip this story. I think really the goal for this character is to get as many of my equips as soon as possible. So I need to start doing Rudibus today and pray like really actually well. No, today's a Tuesday in Korea. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I got plenty of time. No, I'm about to say pray that there's no 30% off this weekend. But if I just do my normal Rudibus today, I can get CRA done this week. I just won't be able to get my Fafnir weapon because there won't be enough Seavelt to get someone run, but that's whatever, honestly. But I want a 30% event just so I can like get everything to 15 stars real quick. I think the trio that I want is just Raging Blow. Um, it's Raging Blow, Final Attack, and uh, I Valhalla. Yeah, that's it. Raging Blow, Final Attack, Valhalla are the main boost notes that I want. I don't think I actually care about anything else. Got my notes from the buck. Let's, let me get some sharp eyes. Unfortunately, I did not get sharp eyes, but I did get two skills I can go ahead and boost right now. We got combo instinct, and then we got um sword illusion. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's illusion. Um, And then as far as these other notes go, I don't need i'll just go ahead and get rid of these and then that should be good enough and i can make drop eyes now i can have 63 percent crit rate jesus class is depressing i'm claiming union coins just so i can buy a uh i'll buy a 30 minute drop coupon and then also a 30 minute attack buff because i'm going to be doing a bunch of daily bosses and i want the drop rate time to roll my inner for drop as well you think i should have crafted hs instead but Ah, it's whatever. I gotta try to get epic and then roll drop rate. Any epic drop rate line and I'm good to go. I hope I don't accidentally tear up to legendary. Oh, that would suck. Oh crap, it's unique now. I'm not gonna hit it. Oh my god, it, it's actually freaking legendary. Wonderful. Passive skill levels. Uh, what does that even do? Hold on. Is that more final damage? Wait, huh. Wait, this seems really broken. The FD goes from 10% to 11% per orb. What? Wait, but if, hmm. If this isn't affected or if combat orders is on this, then I don't even know. Like, I feel like it's good to have right now, but if this doesn't stack with combat orders, which it very likely doesn't, then um, it's not really gonna be very good. Screw it, I'm just gonna roll off it anyway. <laughs> I, I hope that's not like a bad thing to do. Just please give me my drop rate. I'm almost done rolling. We'll uh, see what happens. Drop rate, no. 27 crit rate. I'm keeping the 27 crit rate, bro. I got 90 crit rate now. I, I'm, okay, no, I'm blocking the crit rate. <laughs> and then my drop rate does not exist. Nice. I just have almost 100 crit rate, which I guess is okay, that's cool. I'm gonna change the order of some of these skills based off of their durations. That's better. 
and it's now time to test out some bossing. Uh, oh wait, let me get red and green pot from the storage. No more magnets. I'm going to charge my combo. I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna charge my combo, and then as soon as it's fully charged, I'm going to burst. The proper order. I love this class. Oh my goodness, dude. And then my sword isn't even on the ground. I know your sword does more damage if it's on the ground, but the problem is it'd be on the ground. And I just got both accessories in one run. <laughs> Lovely! Who, who needs any- who the drop in there? What the heck? Pink Bean. No way I pull it off in Pink Bean as well. Okay, let's see Pink Bean. Belt. Cool. Do the pocket be too good to be true. Um I better say I don't even think I wear a pocket, but this is literally the anniversary event. This is like the event to get a Drake Boost potion to wear the pocket. Don't really care too much about the pink bean boss crystal. I'll sell the Magnus one though. It'll be too bad. But now I go ahead and claim this item here for like 70. Just cause. I just got 102. We're good. Arcarium. If I put it down. Oh, cool. I could just do that. Please don't do anything. Okay, that's fine. If I anything, I meant like cancel weapon or DR. But I do have a magic crash. It means I gotta, I gotta click a magic crash from the stupid window, though. Oh my goodness. Are we good? No! Okay, where's my magic crash? It's right here. Goodbye. <laughs> Any jobs? Oh, okay. I thought I didn't get a pendant for a second. Oh, goodness. We're gonna flame this too. 78 strength. Nice. Okay, Chaos went so. Man, this is crazy. Do I get all drops? I do, I do get all drops. Nice. I'll probably flame the uh, pendant for a little bit. But, um, not too much is because it gets very bad flames. I am already 9 set boss. 55 and 4 in the first flame. Yeah, we'll do the pendant for a little bit. 16, that's, that's it. That's it. I don't want to do it too many more times. We're good. I'll go ahead and star force everything that I got up to 10 stars. I can buy two more event rings this event, so that is what I will mainly be saving up my coins for, but for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get this ring. I do not think you could put a potential on here. Well, I mean, it's level 10, so the potential will be jank anyway, but this is like 17 stat, 3 attack, because you can Star Force it up to 5 stars. It's only going to cost me 50 leaves. That'll probably be it for character gearing for now, though. I could just use full-on pencil leaves until CRA, but, um... I think now is time I like really really put this character to the test and see if I can do hard Magnus. I'm sure it won't be bad. I am full boss set now, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Plus with the new Magnus changes, it's like really whatever. No bind. Who needs bind anyway? Reach for the FD. Here we go. I think that uh, completely missed the illusion damage. I have a knife here for this. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah, that was close. <laughs> okay, at least it didn't mess that one up. Oh, my damage lines are rather nice though. Definitely not too bad at all. Okay, I mean, I can just save War Reaper for like an actual eye frame instead of just using it for damage. Like I currently am right now. The FD is tied to illusion, so I can definitely just use Wolverine Reaper to save myself instead. Okay, he's at percent thing. I feel so naked without um that one skill up. Humble instinct. Unfortunate. He charges up the rush so fast now, you saw that. It's really weird. Oh, boss of punctures not on. I need to know how long the puncture debuff lasts. 
fucking duck the rush as soon as these magnet changes were absolutely insane. Everything is up in 30 seconds. Already a quarter of the way down, dang. Okay. I didn't know that much. <laughs> oh, that was super close. To really squeeze in there. I'm on first stuff now. At the rate I'm going at, this would take like 10 minutes. If I would just hug the boss at all times. It's a bit ridiculous. I'm not sure if uh, I feel about that. Obviously, it's a one time thing, and I'm only 4.5k stat with like no gear pretty much, but yeah. Oh, that was fine. I tried to duck it, but it's what it is. What it, is. it is about time to burst. Oh, super stance with Valhalla. I forgot. That's uh very interesting. Okay, got out of there. Oh, that was very close. I was like, I didn't know what to do. Have my iframe up, so we're chilling. Yeah, remember I tried to play hero like before ignition, and it legit, I, I died. One of the worst feeling classes I've ever played, but now post ignition is like pretty nice, just because the thing is pre ignition. If you did not use um your board reaver, whenever it was off cooldown from the FD buff, you wouldn't do any damage at all. So it was like pretty freaking sad. And then they finally moved it over to Illusion. So now you can just use all the as an actual iframe instead. So very blessed for that change. This is exactly how Magnus should feel, honestly. It's such it's a much, much tamer fight compared to before. They really needed to nerf Magnus this much. I remember like talking on stream once about uh, some people have thought about the Magnus changes, and I think someone had once said that like the Magnus changes were a bit too much. No, absolutely not. Early game bosses should not have been as hard as Magnus once was. These changes are very, 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 very welcome. Very good for uh, people to get into the boss. I will say though, current existing bosses like Chaos Pink Bean. Why the heck is Chaos Pink Bean still such a, a pile of trash, dude? That boss is actually so evil for no reason. Oh, that was so late I got gassed. Oh, man. Okay. Whatever. Oh, that didn't kill me, Doug. Ah, nice. Oh! Ooh. I think they're not last that long. <laughs> that was so goofy. I got Spirit of Freedom. I won't get gassed. Is this one more time? I frame's not up. I will move. Then we're done. Nice! And I got a cape. So like an 11 and a half minute run, I want to say. At a 4.5k stop with the buffs that I currently have on. I'm chilling. But hey, the cape is uh, a lot better than the the 6 set pencil here. So I'll go ahead and take that. I'll flame it too. 6% all stat, 5 attack. We'll keep it and we'll wear it. I think I've had enough of Hero Adventures for now. So let me just go ahead and get Rudibus done. And then um, do my five days, and then we'll be able to do CRA like towards the weekend. Now I'm gonna be honest, not my greatest class choice for sure, and I and I know a lot of people can agree with me on that too. Um, I did want to keep it between explorers just because, well, pet situation and stuff. I really do like having accessible pets. Um, and also because I am playing on a server with higher ping, I couldn't really play any more of the. Uh, more complexity jobs I felt like so I just decided to keep it real simple with hero maybe I can um think of a more complicated class that I might be able to play come the summer patch that my highish ping will allow me to play but for now I'm just going to stick with basic trash oh yeah I am also going to start leveling arcane force and I just got back on my dom over here gonna do its dailies and uh, because of link skill transfers with the shenanigans of the hero and stuff, I think I'll probably just 
do a good chunk of my buck bosses today instead. But um, Arcane Force can hit level 2 right now, level 3 tomorrow, and I think maybe 4 more days. Yeah, about 4 more days until level 4. Um, I'd rather just be patient with it for now, get level 4 Arcane Force, and then hit 279 on my buck before getting into like actual Black Mage itself. So for the time being, to satisfy some of my other characters, I will go ahead and get attack to level 2 and get 10 attack because it's only 10 points and then the rest will go into Arcane Force. Unfortunate. Hold on. Bro, what? <laughs> that was such a fast Seaglu, bro. 11 and a half minutes. Boom. <laughs> That's so pitiful, I swear. <laughs> Let's go. I got five bosses left. Dude, they don't even hit like the sides of the map anymore. There's nothing interesting. What the heck's going on? I only got Will and Slime left. Right, let's see this. Awesome soul charts. Oh, woohoo. It. About 200 black lane, that's insane. I get um 59. Now we're broke again. Okay. Let's do this. Fun. <laughs> as soon as I see the uh the plus range. Um, me when I play more armor is so sad. I'm not even looking at the flame. I'm just waiting to see if this turns green. Did drop this week? No. And I only have slime left, so yeah, none. Oh, I could also be doing my baby weekies, I guess. Oh, whatever. Have that map so laggy? Uh, it's just my ping. So what turns green or yellow? The bottom. Let's organize an inventory. The heck? Hold on. Flaming is green. Those are all tier fives. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> okay, we're done for. Ouch. What a pain. Wait, I killed Sea Slime 20 times. This is a monumental achievement. Can't believe the day has finally come. Clip one. Use it. I get the hat. Bang. Break crystals. Nice, 6.4 bill. 6.47. Um, buck bossing this week was trash. <laughs> I basically just got the base eluded, that was it. But now I've decided that I wanted to do my uh, other boss mules. If anything, I will just do whatever I'm allowed to for link transfers. As soon as I run out of link transfers, then that's it. I am done until reset. There's like another 
two hours until reset, so I could technically fit in all of my characters, but I highly doubt I can. For example, let me transfer my links back to the dome over here for pausing. Uh, yeah, no, I actually. <laughs> <laughs> that warrior is the only boss a character I could do before reset. Oh well, we'll just do that. 16.8k stat this time. I think that's like 1.1k higher than last week, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that sounds about right. And I do have Echo this time around. Not sure if I had it last week, but I have it now. Okay, this character might be better than the arc now. It's uh it's actually popping off. Pretty freaking crazy. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. This was a little bit more than a five minute run. If he does purples again, then it'll be a little longer, but you get the idea. Hold on. Uh, high frame. High frame. We're good. There we go. It'll be like a five minute and 12 second run. Ridiculous. Yeah, I can't wait to get the Asphara symbol on here. It will be done and it'll be doing like five minute Lotus runs. At the same time for Damien. This guy is strong now. Probably about 28 minutes for everything. Uh, considering how strong my Dark Knight is and it does into 24, I say 28 minutes for all the weekly bosses. It's definitely not bad at all. Plus all the daily bosses. Also, I realize that if I do every daily boss and do daily bosses every single day on my main, I go over the 180 crystal cap. Um, with my upcoming boss mule, plus, I mean, well, with my upcoming boss mule, not really counting that at the moment, but currently when I do boss mules, I, I have now stopped selling normal Zakum. Yay. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I stopped selling normal Zakum, and I'll stop selling normal Zakum for, like, one day on the buck, and then I'll, I'll hit, like, 180 exactly. But whenever I do get this hero established, then, um, some things might have to change again. So I should be at around 1.8 bill. Yep, 1.8 bill. Need to see if I left any mesos on my hero. I don't remember. Okay, no it doesn't. It just has the 50 remaining flames that I will be able to use once I can access CRA here in like 3-4 days. I say 3 days because resets in 2 hours. 32.3 bill. So after the other boss meals, I'll be at 34 bill to end off the week. I'd be at like 40 bill, but you already know what happened. I guess I could do some hero cubing for now. I got all these cubes to use on the secondary again. And I have no room, what the heck. And I hope Sided Tears up to Unique. And once that doesn't work out, I'm probably going to be at core cubing items that's up to Epic. <sighs> probably going to be a release item some process, because I no longer have any Epod scrolls to use. <laughs> and then after that, um, I go for 2 line, 9%. I right, bug bosses. If you didn't give me any drops in game, please at least there we go. Please at least give me this tier up. Um, shoot, I'll go after this or not the secondary the emblem now. See if I hit anything on here. If the emblem fails, I just go for six percent attack again, and then I try again next week. Also, I think my boss mules also had cubes to use, but it is what it is. I got nine percent attack. I'm just gonna keep that for now. That's actually pretty freaking rare to hit. <laughs> and then, uh, you know what? Like, what can I get on this secondary? Anything crazy on unique? Nothing. Time to drop potential scrolls on everything. Uh, shoulder. I'll keep her three percent, I guess, but I won't really be able to transfer potential to um, Abso. So yeah, the thing's only going to be stopping at 3%. Tyrant will also maybe only be 3%. Everything else, I will try to get epic 9% on, for the most part. If anything, I would... To cut down on cost, on... Like, Pinsolita stuff... I'd probably try to find like a level 120... Yeah, something like this. Level 120 items to get to epic. In cube for 9% instead. Alright, cubing has been going pretty well. Uh, I'll say, yeah, I definitely say it's been going well. Everything is at least 3% stats, and I got 9% on my face, eye, two pendants, ring, and belt. For the belt, I bought a scroll because I saw that it had 500 maple leaves. So I bought a, an epic pot scroll from the coin shop for 300. 
and then I just went and rolled two line on that. And then now I'm keeping two items in my inventory. The hat, that's already 9% right now. And then this uh, overall is currently rare. I'm trying to get this to epic to get it to 9% as well. And then once they are both at 9%, then I will farm up some level 130 items. And I will transfer them to my current pencilers so I can get the CRA whenever I get the CRA set. If anything, I do have to stop soon since I am leaving here in a bit. But I think what I wanted to do actually is maybe buy like 30 red cubes in the cash shop. I guess I want to keep the treasure secondary for two lines. I'll just go at this for like five more minutes. And then if nothing happens in five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and do the secondary. Okay, I just here up to epic. I'm praying that this actually hits two line here within like two or three minutes. I've used about a thousand of Colts, which is actually not even that bad because it takes around 110 to tear up and another 100 just to roll uh, two lines. So I'd say each item on like I guess a little bit of the higher end of the average is maybe 250 occult cubes and considering that I am only just about a thousand in and I've gotten like six items done through tier up and rolling lines that's like really good but you know what I think I'll finish this another time as you can see I am 5.8k stat so I've gained like 1k stat from this process so far uh more to come dang that's nine percent dex but I'm gonna end this off and uh, I'll buy 30 red cubes for the secondary. Of course, I want to spend too much, you know. I'm really trying to keep this character budgeted, just pray and pray. Wait a second. My buck has a ton of cubes. Hold on. My buck is sitting on literal hundreds of red cubes from the time I rolled three line attack on my weapon. And I'm over here trying to buy extra cubes. Ain't no way. Look at this. Look at this. We got like 230. 230 cubes. I'll pull out a pack of 50 for now and see what I get on that. Um, I only have time for a pack of 50. So it's either I hit or I don't. Literally just two lines. 15% attack or 30 boss 6 attack. I'd like to see 30 boss 6 attack. But if I don't see it, then it's all good. Might be one of the best times to showcase the pity system as well. But for red cubes, you need 500 of them for the pity to up to legendary. That is... <laughs> It's 500 red cubes, but like 107 black cubes. So literally, you either spend, what, like 2.3 bill in black cubes, or you spend 6 bill in red cubes. Hmm, I wonder what's the better deal. That's because red cubes have like a 0.3%. Yeah, red cubes have a 0.3% chance of tearing up to legendary. Meanwhile, black cubes are... 1.4 they got buffed to 1.4 in the most recent patch but oh, these ends are actually mostly garbage i don't even know if i'm gonna see anything and then ugh, 30 boss on the bottom bro come on this is actually pretty bad but i might have time to use another pack of cubes i actually do have time to use another pack of cubes dang wow this is harder than i thought let's run it back i guess Please let me hit with this pack, bro. I beg. I beg. I me mean, seeing all these boss lines, but they're not paired with anything good. The best one I've gotten is 30 boss and 15 IED. But, ah, oh, finally hit. There we go. About to say. <laughs> um, I, uh, what do you call it? I don't even know what I was going to say. I forgot completely. Day 14. Final day of week 2. Yes, final day of week two of anniversary, and also just the final day of the week in general, and I need to work on my uh, hero equip some more. Now, I just got back, and I'm going to be cubing this up for 9% again. I mean, I got it to epic, but I didn't have time to finish it before I had to leave. After I do this, I have to do another overall, because I got to transfer to both top and bottom, so I need to find mobs to kill to get another level 120 overall. And then once I do that, I have to go find level 130 overalls and a level 130 you have to transfer to and then after i do that i have to get another level 140 overall to transfer to and then i should be good i think that's all the cubing i would do on this character for now as soon as i finish those could also do shoes and glove if i see them uh that wouldn't be too bad cape i have to wait till see zach or just straight up tap the app so cape or i'm, I'm sorry cube the app so cape whenever i get that uh, cape is kind of whatever because I already know the reroll cost and that's gonna be high anyway But yeah, I'll probably try to get shoe and glove as well For some of the items with higher reroll cost, I would much rather get potential scrolls from events to Get them to epic 
because I don't want to spend like 500-400k per reroll at a 0.9% chance that's going up to epic. My current shoes actually are already epic. I guess I can spend on rerolling those. Surely it wouldn't be too bad, but I think I may as well just go ahead and go for a new pair of gloves. Okay, that took a really long time, but finally got it. Jeez. Um, <laughs> where do I train? Where do I train? I don't have any stamps or any of these areas. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to go. I can come here for level 130 equips, but 120 equips is the real issue. Um, hmm. Ludibrium. Ludibrium has level 110 plus mobs, and mobs level 110 to 119. Should drop level 120 equips. I'm just not sure. What, uh, what mobs I don't want to be fighting in particular just yet. Oh, look at that. I found another overall. Uh, I guess I'll just stay here for Glove and Chew. Oh, well, at least Glove. I got a right send inside detector. I wish I recorded it, but dang, I passed it. Um, I have not been passing those as of late. They've gotten a little bit harder for me, but... Alright, looks like I've been holding my Korean skills now. No more jail time. Go for a pair of gloves? Come on now. On the gloves. Let's go get let's go get the level 130 items now. Let's see here. Hat, two overalls, glove and shoe. We're good. The server lag on the skill is hilarious. I, I guarantee you this is like one well, ping. High ping effectiveness of combo instinct. I hit once and then the kimchi comes out a little bit later. It looks really goofy. Okay, I am finally done. It's time to cube again. I kind of remember why I don't do boss meals very often. This is definitely one of the reasons why. I It took me so many cues to tear up a shoe to Epic when I already even had a shoe at Epic to begin with, so I could have used on the gloves. And now it's taking a while for me to roll two nine. At least the second overall got two lines, but after this, I gotta hit the glove. And uh, I am also running out of time yet again, and I fear that I'm not even going to make it in time. I got like 23 minutes left for this session. I gotta do this by bits sometimes, I guess, because really sitting here cubing, it, you're gonna be spending thousands of cubes. I think this is the first character, first boss mule that I feel like I funded without epic pots or like a good amount of them. So it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. But I think as soon as I get these last two items done, I might have enough epic pots to buy from the shop to get the remaining items done. But I'm not too sure about that. I just really hope I get this done like, as quick as possible. Just give me two lines so I can move to the glove. I am done. Finally. I'm going to Star Force all these 10 stars. Okay, now for the transfer process. So, I got... Wait, I got two hats. I mean, I only really need one. So, hat goes into current equipped hat. Overall goes into current equipped overall. Same with shoe and glove. And then I have to... I'll transfer my second overall to the 130 overall, and then I'll just go ahead and lock that for now. It's done. Okay, stat reveal. Okay, warrior boom. 6.2k. Uh, I'm on the Boston grid too, right? Yeah, so it is just 6.2k. That's not too bad. So I need, I still need four 17s, four CRA, four Absos in like two rings. And I still need to get some more of my pots done, but for now, I think I'm just going to keep everything as is. No more gear upgrading on this character until after it clears at least three doors of CRA, which will be in three days because I'm going to get my normal Rudibus done right now. And then I can finally hop off for a little bit again. Okay, bad news. Um, there's two hours and 16 minutes left until weekly reset. And I have not done anything on my buck besides Ursus and the maple candies and i still have to grind so daily bosses mpe uh grind and then the sack dailies or authentic forest dailies i did all my dawn warriors dailies so at least those out of the way uh so i just have to do these and then whatever time i have left before reset i just go ahead and do whatever boss meals i can i should be able to fit in all of dark knight but um might be it Buck dailies are done actually wait legion Crap. Okay, seven so hour and nine minutes, but I think what I can do is I can fit in both characters, but I'm just going to do weekly bosses on them. Um, I won't get like 50 something mil, whatever, like 110 mil across two characters, but I would 
I will be perfectly fine, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. I'm pretty sure it's like 920 mil if I just do the weekly bosses. Friends, I want pets over to the Dark Knight and do the Dark Knight first. And then after I do the Dark Knight, I do the art. Also, from the dailies in the grind today, I got 10 Memoria boxes. So now that puts me at 136. I'm uh getting pretty close to being halfway done with the Memoria thing. I have another two day. Actually, wait, let me see what I get from this. I'm gonna go through all of this, and then once I get out, I can open my page. I was hoping I'd get something for the seventh anniversary to finish the popsicle. Um, maybe I grind before I use my chances tomorrow. And then also do my Dawn Warriors dailies as well. And if I don't end up pulling anything from here, then I guess I'll just get the popsicle in two days. Okay, the server's freaking lagging again, dude. I can't transfer my pets. I'm gonna give it like a minute, and if it doesn't go through, then I'm just gonna do the arc instead. Because, yeah. No, they've been having server checks for this server, like, every other day. And they still haven't fixed the lag yet. It's so insane. It started off ridiculous a couple weeks back with the whole strawberry farm shenanigans going on. Um, towards, like, yeah, like, a, to the first half of April, as that event was about to end. Alright, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do Ark instead. Ark done. I have 34 minutes left to do Dark Knight. Let me get my crystal money. 917 mil. A little less than I thought, but it's all good. I got, yeah, like I said, run out of time. Need to get this done. Dark Knight Weekly's done. All of my weekly bosses have been done. Now, I didn't do the dailies on any of the characters, but it's whatever. Honestly, I... That might just be a normal thing. I don't even care. Like, it's so much faster to just get through the weeklies, though... Ah, I spent a lot of time in Pierre. It could have been sub 20 minutes, but it'd be like that. <laughs> I got 2.6 bill in the storage. Let me see if the hero has any money. And if it doesn't, then I'll just put all the money on the the buck and see how much I'm at. Yeah, 26 mil from some leftover crystals on here. May as well. So now I am sitting on 34.4 bill. Uh, not too bad. Me praying that there is no um, 5, 10, 15 this upcoming weekend because I'd only be able to get up to like 10 bill more until then. So I'd have close to 45 bill because I have some plans that I want to do. Instead of waiting for Shining to 22 Arcanes, I kind of want to 5, 10, 15 later this month to 21 them. Because I feel like I might be pretty close to doing Black Mage, closer than I expected. And it will not be possible without at least 21 starring my arcanes. So instead of ending off this episode, the usual way, the checklist, I'm going to be doing it with the stack converter sheets. I'm going to be making another new sheets with my current stats involved. And also for the sake of having full damage, I'm going to be replacing Spirit of Freedom with the Xenon Link skill. I'm pretty sure that's the best one that I can currently use. Okay, yeah, Xenon Link skill. I'm at 52.1k stat with it though, dang. Not really sure what I was at at the start, but thanks to having a good amount of points at Tim stats now, I am at 54 point, about 54.6k converted for uh, 300 PDR bosses. Looking really, really good. My boss damage is still rated super low, which makes me wonder if I were to... um. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. That's two min maxi. It's, it's probably not gonna get much out of that anyway. I was gonna say re my secondary even. I'm just like, nah. Let me not do that real quick. But now we're gonna be doing some uh, numbers. We're gonna be plugging in some numbers. So, I have this thought process, right, behind 21 starring arcanes. And it's really freaking stupid. It's because I wanna see if I have a shot at soloing Black Mage before the New Age update. That's the problem. Because... How I see this is that the New Age update could potentially bring in a good amount of power creep, and that would ultimately lead for my buck to maybe not effortlessly solo Black Mage, but it would probably be a lot easier for the character if power creep were to come around, and I wouldn't really feel as happy about doing it. So I really, really want to try and give myself the chance of seeing if it's actually possible. I plugged in the average of how much mesos it would take to get arcanes to 21 stars of 19. And apparently it's about 50 bill for all five. Now I'm only sitting on 34 bill right now, which is why I'm like praying that there is no 5, 10, 15 this weekend. Because I might only have up to 45 bill for it. Um, so I'd much prefer it 
next weekend instead where i actually do have the mesos to stand a decent decent ish chance against uh actually getting my arcades at 21 stars so as you can see for black mage right now i'm currently at 54 percent for 40 minute cut i think if i can maybe get this number to around 75 it should be doable but i need to i need a comparison i need to see someone who might have been around like low specs for bm solo and that is none other than jin k Last year in February, Jin K started a series on his YouTube channel called Isekai Maple, which is basically him playing Reboot and also playing a buck, which is also partly why I even made this series to begin with as well. On day 382, he managed to solo Black Mage. Now, of course, this is currently day 421 for me right now, so this is like way far beyond that. But also, he did do bosses and parties, and he did liberate, so he was liberated for his BM solo. It was a 55 and a half minute run, so I want to see the stats that he had in order to do a run of that time. He had 59.6k converted stat, but he also had the um, buff, the like weather effect buff, which is this option right here that you could pick for, and it um, brings him up to like 60.3. So when I have it up, it brings me up to 55.4. So I'm currently 5k below where he was at when he soloed Black Mage. Now what could I possibly need to be able to pull this off? Well first things first, I'm going to go ahead and this is 275 chair buff by the way. Uh, and Roar 3 applied. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set Arcane Force to plus 110. And then set the level to 1. And I'll make sure all like the max buffs and stuff are applied. So that alone, leveling up 1.1x in this... Uh, the weather buff, I guess, puts my black mage at 63%. That's already a huge jump. 21 star gains, 150 strength, and 165 attack. That brings me to 57.1 at 21 star gains. In about 16 days, I'll be able to further improve my temp stats even more. And I'll be able to get 40 stat, 10 attack. So this goes to 175 as well as 5% boss damage. And that brings me to 57.4. Now this is when I pop the big giant guns. I use one of my damage black hearts for two set pitch boss and the effects of black heart in general. Two set pitch boss is 10 stat, 10 IED. So let's bring this to, I'm sorry, 10 attack, not 10 IED, and 10% boss damage. So that is the two set effect. Now, the effects of the black heart itself, I get 21 more stat, I get 77 more attack, I get 30 more boss, and I get 30 IED. So now I'm at 59.9, but I'm actually going to lose stat here because I lose 27% strength. So now that brings me to 59.2, and my black mage is at 75%. That's a fix the IED there, I'm sorry. I'm at 59.1. Now, I think a one hour cut run at 59.1 might be possible, but it'd be some serious damage. I would also have to try to go for level 280 as well, maybe. Uh, at level 280, I'd be at 76% for BM. Uh, so maybe I'd really try to get that final level on my buck to be able to get to that point. Now, if I were to do some cubing due to the defense line removal, I could try to go for five thirty percent so that would be my Meister Ring, my Daybreak, and three of my Arcanes. I don't want to cube anything else because it's either too expensive or the item is not best in slot because I'm coping for Pitch Boss to replace it. Um, I would say two accessories plus Cape and Shoulder will probably cost around 30 bill after the defense line removal on average just to see 30% stat. So we're going to put in 12% strength gain here. And that'll put me at 59.4. Now, if I want the shoes to be done, um, that'll put me at 59.5. So, as you can see, I'm going to have a lot of trouble hitting 60k. <laughs> It'd be very hard to match that 60.3 that Jin K had. And so, all that FD he got simply by liberating. It's so much damage. You can see how minimal of a gain cubing is. Like, I mean, that's still 40 bill for about 400 more converted stat. But if I were to set this to zero... I go down by nearly 400. Setting the level back to 279, this is pretty much the most realistic approach I have at soloing Black Mage during uh, 
during this event. I don't know if that's possible. I'm one level below and about 1.3k converted stat below Jin K. So we're just going to see if we can make it work. I have to find a way to gain like 5% final damage on top of all these gains just to match this converted stat just to be able to even stand a chance. But I think it might be doable. I just have to play really, 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 really freaking well. Spend a lot of time practicing. And I think with enough practice, I genuinely have, albeit a very, very small chance, but a chance at soloing Black Mage by the end of this event. The temp stats we have, they expire on the 14th, but we have until the... Actually, wait, hold on. For the weather buffs, I have until June 11th at 11.59 p.m. to buy them. The coupon for them lasts for one day, but as soon as you claim what you want, that also lasts for another day. So I pretty much have, yeah, until like the end of June 13th to see if I can pull this off. I could also potentially hit 280 before then as well. So we're putting 280 back in the game. Uh, as for the black cards, I'm only going to pop it if I 21 star my arcanes. If I 21 star my arcanes, I will pop it about maybe 20 days before the event ends. Thank you for watching me theorycraft about my small expectations of being able to pull off a BM solo within the next month and a half. And uh, that will be it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys in the next one. 60k with 22 star gains, but we know that's not gonna happen at all.